countdown here where... Oh, shit. I, I, I already hit the button on my end. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm Mitsuhi's hope. Their hope. You, you, you probably knew that already. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction. And this is Root Film. It's a video game. It is the spiritual successor of Root Letter and already from uh, Yakumo Part 1 seems a good bit better, at least in the de department of main characters. Yeah, you At the very least. Y you're gonna keep bringing that up out of just raw PTSD mm -hmm. and it's gonna feel a bit yeah. less relevant every time you say it. Yeah. I, I am glad he's he's much more enjoyable. Mm, so do we want we we got finished with the part one and we ended up on the flow chart. So do you want to go for part two or reho part one next? Because I'm at least I'm assuming that the color just means the character and not that red means that you can't go there yet. I I've been assuming the same thing, and also, I figure... I don't know who Riho is yet, which makes me mm. a bit interested, but also I feel like the game expects us to... take uh, Yakumo, Yagumo parts to first? I mean, we have the option, so... We do have the option. That is a true statement. I cannot contest that. Mm-hmm. Seems my chat is having issues. It's disconnecting. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I don't oh, know well. if that's an issue on your end or an issue on Twitch's end, because... Hard to say, hard to say. I actually have... I've got your stream open in another tab because I've got to, mm -hmm. you know, be able to see your chat for the sake of politeness. Also, hello, Tal, I can see you. You exist. I'm also watching both chats, but with chatty rather than having it on a, open on a different screen because I don't have a different screen. Yeah. I, like, I have to just have the messages pop up on top of the game instead. It can meet to by the way. Tell cannot hear me. Wait. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That is a problem? Okay. Good, 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 to, good to know at this point. Good to know at this point. I'm a little bit worried about this because I had some serious audio issues yesterday that uh, I still don't know what caused them because everything in the settings were fine and it was just not working. So I fear this is the same case. Uh, try saying something now. I think I might have fixed it. Uh, sometimes I dream about cheese. Can you hear me through the now, doll? How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, at I least one. Can you also dream about cheese? Okay, I assume that means you can I, hear me. Yeah, I, I assume as much as well. Alright, everything seems to be... Acceptable. It also looks like you... Yeah, you're a bit loud on stream, which is weird, because... That doesn't match my previous settings. Normally it should be that you're about as loud as I hear you, but it looks like you're extra loud on stream. Which is, shouldn't be happening, based on what my settings are. It shouldn't be... It also shouldn't be happening based on just the way I talk at any given moment, <coughs> so, you know? Yeah. You should be quieter on stream at least now, hopefully not too quiet. Yeah, I, I think that was caused by whatever issues happened yesterday. Alright, is that it? Do we, do, do we have all of our tech issues settled? Is we'll good? see as we keep going, something might still crop up later on for all we know. Yeah. But, uh, 
Hmm. Well, no one is complaining at me, so I'm going to take yeah. for granted that mine is working fine. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, if no one has any other opinions, I still vote we start with Yagma Part 2. Okay. Keeping on with Yagma for now. Alright. Start with the store? Yes, I think I will. Thank you. Everything's yes. fine here. Baller. Red as heck. Beat. My god! The woman's wearing shoes! Okay, cool. Oh, it's got some. Good work out Do there. Do we keep the same rolls? I, I, I was going to say yes, unless you really, yeah. really want to swap out somebody. Uh, I'm down for keeping the same rolls. Just right. wanted to confirm. Alright. Good work out there. Want some coffee? No, don't yeah. Yes, please. That's probably not the tone they were intending for, but it's how I feel right now. In the archive center office, Yagumo rubs his eyes as he takes the coffee cup from Sayama. <sighs> what a day. You've been working hard day after day. I'm impressed you haven't given up. It has to be here somewhere. If you keep at it, I should find it eventually, right? Finding the Tenured Project's pilot film, eh? Sounds like a shot in the dark to me. My god, we're expressing agency. Mm -hmm. Incredible. This place is home to over 5,000 shell films. Back during the time it takes to set each film, and the best you can do is check four films an hour. That's quick maths. Three hours a day is 12 films a day. So, how many days will that take in total? That's 400 days. About a year and two months. That's also quick maths. We're not open weekends and holidays, and I bet you're not going to come in here every day we are open. If I just pull the golden ticket, the golden ticket, it's all over. It's going to be as soon as tomorrow, for all we know. <laughs> you're that optimistic about your odds that you might as well just buy a lottery ticket. What drives you to go so far? Is there a reason you want to see that film that badly? It's natural to want to know the reason a project you're on was originally shelved, isn't it? Isn't it? Nah. Mm. Is it? Isn't it? Isn't it? No. Nah. Okay. Nah. I did not. Well, if you're gonna keep going, I advise you to bring eye drops next time. Sayama tosses him some eye drops. If we die of poison, we'll know who to suspect. He probably knows yeah. Yagumo's eye rubbing. No. Ah. Thanks. When Yagumo looks up to apply the eye drops. Oh, you're still here? I love Japanese because a line like that can take up like 12 syllables. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Magari enters the room with an exasperated tone of voice. It's almost time for your appointment with Isogami. Hurry up! No. Uh, it's already time for that. Hang on, just let me apply these eye drops first. Uh, okay, then get it over with already. Just get it over with already. I'm not afraid to die. Okay. Uh -huh. Are we dying from poison now? God, if only Yakima rushes to apply the eye drops. But he misses three out of three times. <laughs> okay, he's just not good at it. <laughs> mm. huh? 
In the middle of Yakumo's grumbling, Magari snatches the eye drops out of his hands. She forces open his left eye with two fingers and trips the eye drops in one fell swoop. Trip, 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 trip. Alright, Kane, there's no need to call us names. Hi, it's things. Oh, it's things. Now for the now for this side. Trip, 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 trip. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> okay, that should do it. Sorry about that, Sayama. No. Um, I think I saw God. I see why. Sayama, by the way. I why was Sayama suffering? <laughs> Good question. Taken back by Magari's intensity, Sayama can only tilt his head. Magari drags Yakima out of the room by the collar as he groans and rubs at his eyes. Ironically, that's the exact thing those eye drops were meant to prevent. Why does irony have to be so ironic? Our options are great. I think we're just heading to the headquarters. Probably. Oops. Don't have to see any reason to go back to the archives. Yeah, Yo, Maxi! There you are! Huh? Why are you rubbing your eyes? You sick or something? Sick of you and your shit. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's nothing. I'm fine. Well, okay, but should we start soon, so take care of yourself. Well, do. So, has the lead actress been decided yet? Is she. Perhaps incredibly beautiful, but plagued by some sort of tragic past that is going to end with her either dead or a murderer in like a well, few hours. We've got the agent here, okay, for three candidates, so I thought you could pick out an actress, Maxi. Okay, three is the ideal number of suspects for a mystery story, don't you know? Hello, Yoni. Hi, Yoni. I appreciate it, but are you sure? Shouldn't the other two directors have a say about- Oh, yeah, no worries. The other director said you should get, get, get first pick, Maxi. That is the most first -time suspicious part of the story. You're first time directing a TV drama, right? They figured they should accommodate you since you've got a lot of hurdles to overcome. <laughs> Good for you, director. We directors like Ibuki are looking out for you. And to think, we accused should... him of murder last case. I mean, it was by his own design. <laughs> you should take this opportunity to pick out the best actress of the bunch. Mm. Mm, yes, you're right. I should accept their consideration graciously. Yep. Okay, so here's the documents of the three actors. Okay, make note of which of them, if any, are left-handed. I won't deny we've got agency connections. I will say that director Ibuji helps select so he can vouch for their jobs. I don't know what their jobs particularly matter, since I don't think we're making a karate movie. I see. See, the karate chop is going to be going to be the murder weapon. I say we shoot him first. Sure, why not? What's up? Feel free to keep looking at the documents. If any girl glitch, crackles, and pops with you, then just pick her. But not snaps. We have no interest in snaps. No, here. no snapping. Snapping is not welcome here. <laughs> right, a girl that clicks, crackles, and. Pops. Yeah, yeah, Glitch, Crackles, and Pops. I mean, he's like, uh, catchphrase was let's get popping or something. So I guess the popping is most important out of those. Okay, green, yellow, or red? Well, they do say that green means go. 
Okay, let's go for cream then. What's cracking? Possibly this girl. Or possibly my match, considering the way I feel right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yagama picks up the envelope on the right and takes out the documents. The moment he sees the attached photo, Yagama gasps. Doctor, is that... It's a photo of an actress known throughout Japan, her face tilted to the side in a photogenic pose. She was already a top idol when I was a kid. And she started an acting career in like that. She's a regular on Suspense Department to this day. She sure is. Amazing, right? My actor agent knowing it was a long shot, but they immediately gave us the green lit light when they learned the director into she was involved. That's why the paper is green. I was just about to tell that joke, you... <laughs> I, I see. There's too much of a base shot for a newbie director to shoot. That's what both Yagumo and Magari must think, even if they don't say it out loud. They return the documents to the envelope. Do we go in order to the right? I... Can't think of a good reason not to. Alright, yellow it is. And how about this one in the middle? Yagma picks up the envelope in the center and takes out the documents. At that moment, Yagma's gaping mouth stiffens. Hmm? What's wrong, director? Last one in four hours. Oh, will she? He can't speak yet. Director? Uh, it might be lasting four hours. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Nagati waves her hand in front of Yakumo's eyes before he finally snaps out of it. Ah, uh, 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 we don't have to look at this one anymore. Huh? I haven't gotten a chance to look. Should you get a better look at it too? It's okay. It's okay. We don't have to look at it anymore. Uh? Oh no, my capture. Us. My capture cut off. Oh dear. Well, welcome to the uh, extra special optional DVD bonus commentary section of the stream. I don't know why it's doing this. Okay, he's back. Uh, hello, chat. Capture did, cards did, are fun when they don't work. Yeah, did, but did, it is back. Did y'all survive? Hopefully. If, if any of you are dead, please make sure to let me know. Yagamo restlessly returns the envelope to the desk as Magadi looks on quizzically. Okay, so we don't even get to find out. I mean, there's a yeah, lot of possibilities. What was contained in that was so secret that the capture card had to be silenced. We don't have to look at it anymore. Screen go goes black for me. <laughs> well, welcome, Ivory. Yes. Among the living dead. Yes, hello. Would you say you encountered a death among the living dead by Mosquito Imamura in stores now? It's very good. You should go read it. That was quite the... Uh... <laughs> That's... Quite the segue. That's that's the sort of humor you get when you ask me to come along, I'm sorry. Anyway, there's a red envelope here. Yep. Is it red? It's really more of a pinkish color. Yagama reaches Red enough. Yagama reaches for the envelope on the left. Inside is a large photo and a cutely handwritten self-introduction. The photo shows a woman with youthful looks giving the camera a carefree smile. She's got a nice, nice face. Kind of weird for a portfolio picture, though. True. Normally, you would use a more aloof expression on a portfolio photo. Now, let you demonstrate your natural looks. This actress ignored that, not that idea and instead gave the camera a broad smile. But she's still a no name idol, huh? According to the documents, she's taken plenty of lessons. And above all else, she's got a good smile. And a 
mellow murder mystery, a lead character with her natural brightness could easily elicit sympathy from the audience, huh? And I'm finding out that we are still not out of technical issues. Uh, my redeems are not working. Or... Uh, I'm shot, just gonna... And... I'm gonna go refund that and turn those off. Because I don't even want to start thinking about why that's not working now. So anyway, Yagumo imagines in his head how the actors might act out different scenes. He basks in the joy of finding the perfect person for the part as he sets the envelope back down. I'm getting behind because I need to turn off quite a few things right now that are just not working. I've like, because of what happened yesterday, I have like 80% of my redeems not working for reasons unknown. Which kinda sucks. If they maybe get disconnected, I don't know what you're running them through, but I know you can uh, well, sometimes... These ones are Tits, and uh, the previous one is just OBS and everything, like... OBS and the website, and the website connection works, but sound is not coming through, even though the sound settings are perfectly fine on OBS. Okay, it's probably not that then. Yeah, and these ones are through Tits, which should be working because it's open and everything, so I don't know why not, and it says it's connected, so I don't even want to start considering why it doesn't work, because everything looks fine! <sighs> Okay, what line did you last read now that I can check again? Um... I don't think you have any dialogue for the rest of the scene. I, I'm, I'm back on the, uh... Three... Three points. Oh, okay. So, uh... So, do we shoot him again, I assume? I would assume so, unless you want to go reviewing the envelopes again. I'm shooting him. Alright. Yeah, Akimo gives another look over the envelopes and then closes his eyes and thought. Isagami smiles and watches Yagimo think for a bit before he speaks up. So, what do you think? Any girl clicking with you? Snapping with you? Crackling with you? Popping with you, hopefully, rather than snapping? Snapping was not allowed, if you remember. That's, uh, that's what we like to call continuity. No. no need to be modest, Maxi. You made up your mind long ago, haven't you? It sounded like it. No. I had to pick out of these girls, it would have to be her. Yagama picks up the envelope on the left. The no name newbie whose smile left that impression. That girl, huh? Let's see. She's a uh, Itohamakata, Plum Entertainment. Yep, sounds I like, thought you'd pick her. Sounds like Plum Good Entertainment right there. <laughs> Look, this is. You knew what you were getting into when you asked me to join you here. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> you, you did? Well. You know... Skami shrugs and continues, not really answering Yagima's question. Anyway, she's a good choice. A complete no-name from a fledgling agent, she thought there were three pushing bouts for her as a diamond in the rough. And it'd be fun to promo you two as a fresh duo, and not a coming director and a newcomer actress. And if the TV drama is a hint, it could be a chance for you two to really start popping. And do you know what I think about popping? What? Uh, did you read Magari's line? That's you. For some reason, I was blind and didn't realize it was Magari. Don't you worry, our Yakumo is a man of action. We'll shoot something cute, so you take care of the promo, okay? Sure thing. You feel like you can make it big with this girl too, don't you, Maxi? Indeed, I can definitely be this actress going places. Why, why is the why is the C in quotation marks? My 
initial impulse is to say he got something out of his synthesis. I'll, I'll learn how to say it someday. His synesthesia? Synesthesia, yes, that word. Interesting that we didn't get to hear that. Well, it's not necessarily okay. a key word. Yeah. Okay, then that's Shadow Hit. You're gonna start loca location scouting soon, right? Might as well meet up and have her tag along. Yeah. yeah, she's been excited about being a candidate. Said she wants to do a location scouting too. The real feel of the human beast stage. What sort of atmosphere it's got and all. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Game, yeah, I need more to work with than oh. Location scouting is looking for places to film before writing the scenario. So you can get a good feel for the mood you want to write. It kind of feels like you should have told us that the first time this concept came up, game. Nah. Depending on the script, the director, or a number of staff members can do location scouting. Barely does an actor get involved. Oh, this actor is a real go getter, huh? I know, right? Let's have her join us for location scout. Know where we're going? Well, it's just one candidate for now, but I figured we'd go to Tsuwano first. Okay, Tsuwano, huh? That's like a little Kyoto surrounded by hills. That's a great spot. It's a wonderful place. You should definitely buy several fancy tourist packages there. Mm -hmm. It's got a mysterious atmosphere and it would be a nice place for the project to promote tourism for. You mean like okay. we're doing right now? It, it's kind of like we're doing right now, yeah. And okay, at I'll least they're honest it. about it. Yeah, they, they have been very, very open <laughs> and blatant about it. Okay, I'll go contact her so you can meet up. Huh? Oh, right. Yagamo can only nod and reply to Isogami's sheer energy. And thus, it's decided that on this day, a day which will live on in infamy, they'll meet up with the actress and go to Tsuwano for location scouting. And then we did. Then we died. What is in Mihonoshiki? Mihokan is in Mihonoshiki. Oh, yeah. So are we going through our studio, I assume? That was my first thought. I don't think we have a reason to get back to headquarters. I don't see why the archives are Mihokan either. I think we're going back to our studio. Sure, let's roll. If we're meeting up with someone, it's now probably we're the reception. In here. If we're meeting up with someone, it's probably the reception yeah. room. Makes sense, I'm selecting it. Magari speaking without speaking. The, the text box is just an incredibly long series of, of ellipses, but the voice actress is in fact talking right now. Interesting. I don't hear it because I muted it because I don't want to talk over it on my end. Nagari looks serious as she talks on the phone, her notebook spread on the reception room table. Looks like she's got her hands full with location scouting, so I better not disturb her. Okay. We go to our room? That's true, Maybe. why not? Okay, guess I'll... Check my email or something. Are we gonna get some uh, warning emails again? Checking my email, checking my email, just like strong bad, checking my email. Any work requests? Not that I can accept anything until after the TV drama shooting's done. There are two new emails waiting for Yagamo in his inbox. Dun dun dun. Primo Dexter system again. You know what? Sure, that sounds funny. From Yugensai Kumashiro. Dear Max Yagumo, 
I hope you've read my previous email. The day before yesterday, my clairvoyance told me a dreadful spirit was upon you. Fortunately, my remote exorcism protected you. You are still in grave danger. Before long, a dreadful calamity may be upon you. I prepared you a spiritual power-infused bracelet, so please send 800,000 yen to the following. This guy again? He wants 800,000 yen? That's yeah, over that to If it was like 799, that, that would be one thing. Mm -hmm. 799 plus shipping and handling, maybe. Alchemo sighs as he immediately deletes the email. The day after tomorrow. From Sakya. My flight to Shimane is the day after tomorrow. If you're free, let's get food or something. Food! My god. Sakya again, huh? Looks like she's coming here the day after tomorrow. Do, do we all get that? They're, they're being very specific about mm -hmm. it. It's probably going to be important. But... Maybe. She hasn't learned to include vital details. Uh, okay. I say uh, we go back to the reception room and see if that was long enough yeah, for her to get off the Yeah, I was thinking the same. I was thinking the same. Nope. Okay. I mean, we might as well swing by the editing room once just to, uh... Yeah, we have no reason to not say to. we did. The monitor's on in the empty editing room. That's very energy inefficient. Also, it's not just the monitor. I see at least three monitors on. My god, they're multiplying. Magari's doing research in the reception room for location scouting, I guess. Wow, we learned so much. Do we do we try the reception room again, or do we just go out? It's only three text boxes. It's not gonna cost us anything. Yeah, let's check. Hi. 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 Yep. Out we go. Let's go. Take some deep breaths. The wide open doors. <gasps> so, TV headquarters, archive for Mihonokan. I very much doubt they're going to make us leave the prefecture for, uh, mm -hmm. whatever we're doing right now. Do you think we need to go back to the headquarters to meet up with her? Either that, or while Magadi is setting things up, we go back to the archive and, uh, keep digging Maybe. through those movies. True. Sure, we can go to the archive to dig, dig through. Alright, it's a plan. It looks like Sayama just finished making coffee. He mixes it with a spoon and speaks up. An absolutely riveting plot development. Mm -hmm. You done speaking with Isagami? What did he need? He said he found his casting candidates for the project's lead role. Mm -hmm. Is she even trust that guy's taste? Just find whoever's the flavor of the week. Oh, well, apparently director Ibuse helped him. They rounded up some good actresses. Like the middle one. I, I, yeah. We're going to regret not picking her, you mark my words. So I'm really curious what that was about. Well, as long as you find someone who's got acting chops to satisfy you. Afterwards, the two of them talk about the actresses during Sayama's break. Okay. Good. Uh, headquarters? Process of elimination. It's good enough for Ellery Queen, it's good enough for you and me. Yakima tries to call up Isagami at the front, but it seems he's got a previous arrangement. 
No, it's nothing else we need to work out. So let's just leave. You're not gone. <laughs> Unless we now go back to the studio? It's probably that, but I'm already on the Mihokan screen, so we might as yeah. well. Yeah. Let's go to Mihokan. We won't. They check with the receptionist to ask if they can see Director Ibuse. Um, we came to see Director Ibuse. <laughs> Thank you. See, I wasn't lying to you. Uh, I can be the front desk. Mr. Ibuse, um... He and his companion went out just a while ago. Any idea on when they'll be? He said he won't need dinner, so I expect he'll be back late. That's one of those sorts of companions, I see how it is. I see. We'll come back later then. Yakima the thanks the receptionist and gives up on seeing Ibuse for now. We have done so much right now. So much. Maybe, Maybe we should head back, back to the office. Yeah. We literally just had to go everywhere to not see anything. That was basically it. Riveting. You know that's going to be important for alibis and shit in a few hours, though. Yeah. To the reception room. Uh Phew. Now I got Aileen's back from the reception room sofa. I wonder what's in those boxes in the background there. Yeah, there's quite a, quite a lot of them. On the table in front of her is a phone, a pen, and a notebook full of notes. I think I see some other stuff there as well. Liars. Good work. You make arrangements for location scouting? Yep, managed to arrange for everything from equipment to food, transportation, and lodging. Watching everything on a day's notice is tiring. I'm booked. Sorry. Found out the Heron's dances tomorrow, so I wanted to fit that into our schedule. Uh, who are the Herons? Sounds like some hunky male idol crew. I was going to call a football team before that, but you do you. It's not a name, but a seasonal Shinto ritual unique to Tsuwano that's been designated a nationally important cultural property. You should definitely Honestly, schedule your vacation to come see it. Yeah, that is way closer to what I expected than some hunky idol group. <laughs> I'm surprised there are no actual herons involved. Hmm. It seems usable as a theme for a TV drama, so I want to film it with some cutaway footage. Oh, so that's why you wanted to call Kana to the cameraman too. Everyone's favorite character. Mm. Yeah, and also since our lead actress is joining us, I'd like to have a camera so we can shoot some make me footage too. I see. We're starting bright and early tomorrow, so I'm going home early, but I'll tell Kana. Yeah, good work. Margaret picks up her things and bows before she heads out of the office. Yagimo sees her off with a raised hand before he leans back in the sofa and sighs. We're finally gonna start shooting. For real. For reals this time. For real, Heath. Guess I'll put a pause in finding that pilot film for the time being, but don't forget it happened because it's definitely going to be important in the final case. Hopefully, by restarting this project, we can find clues to the truth of the ten-year-old film. The excitement of filming mixes with a feeling similar to, but legally distinct from, fear. Now I'm curious what that would be if it's legally distinct from fear. As the kaleidoscope of emotions dazzles his eyes, Yagama falls deep asleep sitting on the sofa. Not even laying down, just cheating there. You meditate hard enough, you can fall asleep in any position. The next morning. 
Stadio Yagimo loads the van with location scouting equipment and heads west along the hilly roads. Dr. Yagimo is in the driver's seat. Assistant Magadi is in the passenger seat. Cameraman Kanade is in the rear seat. See, he's a, he's back there. Yeah, yeah, we we can we can see we can see. Yes, Hi. yes, that's correct. Hi. This is Studio Yagimo. We may think for the other day. Yes, correct. Um, the time? Yes. Okay. We'll be at Yashika Shrine by then. Thank you. Phew. So we're going to Yasuka Shrine, is it? I think so. There's a Toho joke in there somewhere, but I'm not thinking hard enough to come up with it. That was it. Uh, Monash Japan Heritage Center referred us to local history researcher in Sapporo Kuramochi. He'll guide us. We meet at Yashika Shrine at 2.30. It's a good time to get a dentist's appointment. 2.30, huh? In that case... <laughs> that sounds more like a cough than a sneeze. <laughs> Look, what do you want me to do? I actually go shift to fix up my nose. Yes, clearly. It's a Go lot I'm willing to do for content, but not that. Also, the kitchen is like on the other side of the house from here. I don't want to leave you hanging that long. What are you doing? Jeez. How dare you sneeze? Dare you sneeze in my presence? Exasperated, Makati hands Yagimo some tissues as he continues in a nasally voice. Oof, if we made it too early. Uh, that's perfect. Aaron's dance is at Yasuka Shrine at 3. And we're meeting up with the Amakata with Amakata at noon, was it? Yep, you want a station at noon on the dot. Okay, we pick her up. We have a lunch walk around. Then we go to Yasuka Shrine. Maybe for a stream for real. Ah, oh, jeez, you could have seen more cold, didn't you? That's what you get for sleeping on the sofa with the air conditioning on. I don't think that's how germ theory works, Margaret. Eh? Yes, it is now. Uh, uh, my bad. It's an important location scouting day, dumbass. Your lack of self awareness is always. Yakima keeps driving as Makati lectures him without end. Shimana drivers are well mannered, I swear. There's not a car in sight that's speeding along the hilly roads. Yagima follows suit and leisurely drives the station wagon at a comfortable distance behind the car in front. They didn't describe the car in front in any appreciable detail, so mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be important later. So on a station. Well, well. They arrive at Tsuwano Station. It's ten minutes to noon. The perfect timing for the appointments. The station's smaller than you'd expect, but there's tons of travelers gathered around. Huh? There's a lot of people around. See, I was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Probably tourists here to see the Heron's dance. Also, the steam locomotive Yamaguchi is going to be here in about an hour, so there's that too. I see. So, where's your Hitohama? Look at that. Yagama and Nogari shake their eyes from the sun with their hands as they look around. The unexpected crowd had them worried, but they find her easier than expected. So Get which one of us is going to be Yamagata? I feel like you've taken like every female character of any consequence thus far. I'll take Amakata and you can have Professor What's His Face. You had the one person with Ibushi. Yeah, whose but name I do not recall. That's probably yeah, my point exactly. <laughs> Sir, she looks just like the picture. She's new, but she's definitely an actress. She shines like a beacon amidst the crowd. Is that the unnamed girl who appeared in like that one scene last case? I 
being? They're dressed yeah. the same. Might actually be. I don't which remember. Of... I don't remember which of us voiced her. That's a good point, actually. You you might have. I might have. It's entirely possible. The Agumon no, nods to himself as he approaches Amakada with a casual raise of the hand. Let's see if I can really quickly go check from the board. All right, you uh, you have fun. It was around this time. When she notices him approaching, her somewhat lonely face instantly brightens. Found the spot. Now to see which one of us voiced her. Drumroll, please. You did voice her. All right, red. We have confirmed. Um, are you director Max Yagumo? Yes, I am Yagumo. And this is... <laughs> That's not my name! Oh, sorry about that. This is my assistant, Nagari, head of our cameraman, Kanade. I love how Kanade is barely in the scene. He's on the cover of a magazine! <laughs> I'm Hita Amakata. Thank you so much for letting me join your location scouting. Nagari and Kanade greet her. Yagma thinks to himself as he watches Hita interact with them. She's got a nice smile. I've seen many business smiles in my time, but... Her smile seems genuine and natural, unlike the sort of platitudes I'm used to. And the sort of platypie I'm used to. Hmm. I sort of chose her via process of elimination, but I think we may have hit the jackpot. Let it buy in Beach Nest. So, wh which one should we shoot first? Nikita has obviously the advanced, the screw, the advanced, the scene choice. Yeah. Whether that means we do her first or last is a question of philosophy. I think we could shoot Magari first. Alright. Nagari and Hita have a fun chat about each other's clothes and accessories. You know every single wardrobe in this game probably costs several thousand dollars. Especially Kanada. Certainly seem close for people who have only just now met. Girls these days have good communication skills. Or maybe it's just Nagari. That was a quick one, Hita. Oh, right, I heard you specifically asked to join us for location scouting, but... It takes enthusiasm to want to feel for the setting when shooting is so far off. Ah, uh, well, it's my first leading part, so I want to make it count. I want to put all my acting training to good use. I see. It's really reassuring to hear that. Thank you so much. And... Tihi? Tihi? And Tihi. Tihi? No. Hmm? Her impish smile leaves Yagama a little confused. She lowers her voice as if to share a big secret. To tell you the truth, I've been making my way around these parts on my own since last week. No, is that why we saw you earlier making your way around these parts? And it was in fact last week. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. So this isn't the first time I've met you guys. But you did genuinely forget. It's... it's not? Um, where have we met before? It was just the other day, remember? At Yomotsu Hirasaka. Hmm? You were screaming at her? Yeah, like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the spooky spirits. Yagamo and Nagari shout in surprise at once. 
story we saw ba back then was you, Hido, huh? Yes. I think I surprised you back then. Sorry. No, 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 no don't worry about it. That was, uh... Right, I was perfectly calm, but Margaret mistook you for a ghost and got freaked out. Huh? Margaret turns around and gives Yago a late piercing glare. Look at that face. Still piercing. Does that look like the face of Mercy? No. Yagamo ignores her and continues. She can be a scatterbrained chicken sometimes. I tried to calm her down, but she wouldn't listen. Do you have to add the chicken? Good grief. There is trouble having such a scatterbrained assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Nagata contains her rage and says nothing. Perhaps because of Heita's presence. Once the crowd thins and she's broken the ice, Nagama cheerfully keeps talking to Hitoha. Um, uh, do we go for more Hitoha or? Part of me doesn't expect Malgadi to have additional dialogue, but on the other hand, he yeah. did just address her. Mm -hmm. uh, so, which one do you vote for? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to give Malgadi one look, just to say. Sure. And, and receive the Falcon Punch. No, oh, Malgadi, can you send you to her that the document? Get that thing I sent you? Sure thing! Okay, Hitoha, I'll send you the document, so give me your email address. What sort of document? The rough schedule for today's location scouting, as well as the contact info for our hotel. You know, in case we get split up. Ah, I see. In that case, I should give you guys my phone number too. Okay, thanks. Beep. Everyone starts fiddling with their phones, they exchange contact info. And now back to Hitoha, I believe. Sure, why not? It's been a week since we met at Yomatsu Hirasaka. You've stayed here this whole time. Yes, well, I came here as soon as I could to look around. And besides... Besides... As a no-name actress, I've got no work and lots of free time, uh-huh. Ha-ha! <laughs> the economy is in shambles. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm a no-name myself, so I don't get much work either. Let's make this TV drama a springboard for all our careers. Okay. I'll do my best. Uh, which one do we shoot now? I uh, just, just, just keep handing it back and forth, I guess. I guess so. Okay. Now then. What are we going to do now? We've got some time before we need to be at Yasuka Shrine at 2.30. So before that, let's look around at some nearby places. And I'd also like to find a place to eat, so... Nagama shoots a glance at Nagari, who types on her phone and quickly answers. I found somewhere that looks perfect. Thank you, Google Maps. Okay, so, Hita, mind if we roll the camera during location scouting? Not just for collecting data, but to use for a making of feature later on. Fine by me. I try not to catch my bad side on film. Okay. <laughs> well, we can just cut out any bad shots after the fact. Well, let's go. Okay. The team leaves the van parked at Suono Station and walks into town on foot. I'm imagining Kanada just filming them eating and not getting to eat himself. Eh, Kanada doesn't actually need to eat. Ah. Uh. It's weird, no one can quite figure out why. Ooh. 
which one do you want to go to? Uh, I have no particularly strong opinions. Should we just go from up to down, yeah, start from the right door? Fine, sure. It makes the most sense. Alright, Yoshinaga Rice Store, if that is your real name. No. Whoa, Kito, look at that! So many carp, and they're huge, huge, I tell you! Once I'm telling I, you they're huge! Once I caught a fish and it was this big. Wow. I heard there was a lot of carp. Are you sure you didn't miss here? I didn't think there'd be this many. Nagari and Amakada cheer as they watch the beautiful carp swim around. This is Yoshinaga Rice Store, otherwise known as the Carp Rice Store, since you can watch carp swimming in the pond for free. For free? I, I, I can be the rice dealer. Sure. Give this lad has great spring water. Many houses build ponds in their gardens and raise carp in them. Apparently, the carp were originally meant to counteract an aqueduct's mosquito problem. I see. But nowadays, there aren't many houses that have this many beautiful carp, are there? No, I suppose not. We do like to brag that we're the best in that regard. And they're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep them down. They're the best around. What the team can see of this pond, that may not be an exaggeration. But it also might, you don't know. You just have to take our word for it. Yagumo nods as he watches the girls feed the carp. But do remember, they're huge. They're, they're very large. They're just, they're such big fish, chat. You don't understand. <laughs> they're huge, I tell you. <laughs> they're so large you couldn't pick them up with both hands. I don't think carp actually get that large, but that's why they're so special. Yeah, they're 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 enormous, gargantuan. You could hide a small dog inside one of those things. <laughs> the poor dog. Anyway, you wanna go to uh, Mina? Yeah. yeah. We will. The team has lunch at Minoya, a restaurant near Tsuwano Station. Kanade, the cameraman, finally puts down his camera. Won't be it just for a few minutes. He gets to eat for a few minutes! Ah, that's a nice breeze. Sure is. The open terrace sure feels nice. And this set meal is so delicious. That's the Butter Burr Rice Ed Meal, right? It's got a very fun name to say. It's probably terrible for you, though. No idea what Butter Burr is. I got Nayaka done because I need meat. That actually looks pretty good. No, you don't understand. I need meat. I need to eat at least one piece of meat every 15 minutes or I will explode. Every 15 minutes? That's, that's quite often. How do you sleep? Hope you, sure look, you look at me and ask me that question again. True, true. That is a very good point you bring up. It's sure it's delicious, and it's great for us girls who have our diets to worry about. Does your work require a strict diet, Hidaha? Well, acting uses stamina, so I get to eat a fair amount, but I do need to maintain balance. I see, I see. Just gotta go sit in the middle of a, um, a huge, sit under a big waterfall and meditate regularly. Mm -hmm. Maintain balance with the cosmos and all that. The two girls chat. Just they... acting. The two girls chat as they chow down on the dango that came with the meal. Dango, 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 dango. The bill should be coming soon. And as Algama reaches for his wallet to pay, reaches very slowly, just waiting for someone else to speak up. 
You're paying for a room and board, right? Hmm? Well, yeah, I can't just let an actress pay during a location sketching. Then, can we put in another order? Uh, another order? There's a sign at the front of the chest of Jen Shai. You don't and I want to try. Before Yakima can say a word, he's left speechless by Hitoha's bashful glances. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Oh. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to show that much restraint. You're experiencing local food will help you get in character, so don't hold back with any requests. Yay! You know what that means, Hitoha? Do. Duh, let's get chased not Chenchai with dumplings, one crash mochi hit, and shaved ice. Oh, I was lucky at that too, but are you sure, Director? <laughs> Don't worry, keep it coming. Nice! Kanade, Director, do you guys want anything? No, I'm no, good. Roger that, show for three. Waiter, we'd like to make an order. As Magari loudly hails a waiter, menu in hand, Yakima looks up at the sprawling sky outside. And there went our entire shooting budget. What was that about diets again? Caught between a philosophical quandary and a hurting wallet, Yakima keeps watching the sky. Me every day. To and the Japan Heritage Center! Mm, chunk. The entry building whose sign at the front says Tsuwano Japan Heritage Center. On display inside the building are several Ikkyo-e style works of art. Hold on a second, I'll go read Takano. Takano? Remember how we got the local history researcher as a guide to meet up with us at uh, Yasaka Shrine? Takano is the one who referred us to him on the phone. Oh. Magari looks around until she finds a staff member who she calls out to. Apparently that was Takano, as the two bow and exchange business cards. After finishing their greeting, Magari brings him back to the others. Director, this is Takano, who works at the center. Which uh, one of us wants to be Takano? Uh, I'll take Takano, you take um, the professor he's introducing us to. Gotcha. Hello, I'm Takano, the head manager of the center. I hear you're filming a TV drama in Tsumano. Thank you for your efforts. <laughs> no, we should be thanking you. I know you don't have much time here today. The center has an exhibit explaining the 100 views map of Tsuwano. Please, come again when you have the time. Um, what's the 100 views map of Tsuwano? It's a map of 100 landscapes of Tsuwano sketched by feudal lord Satoharu Kurimoto in 1845, around 150 years ago. It's a precious document detailing the sites and customs of Tsuwano at the time, in the form of 100 sketches of different locations. Oh, in that case it might be fun to walk around Tsuwano and see how it's changed compared to the 100 views map. <laughs> Many tourists here do exactly that. Mm -hmm. It does sound fun. I might even use that as a plot point in the story. Is that a thing we get a say in? I thought we were the director. Do we not have a script yet? I, I feel Clearly like. not! I feel like that's kind of important. No. We scout the location first. Yes. And then we make a plot around them. To, uh, then we know all the tourist spots that we want to show off in the film. Ah, oh, right, right. I almost We make forgot. the plot around those. Yes, yes. Please do. After Takano gives Yakimo a list of contacts for filming permission, 
they leave the building. Meet up back at the station. So, I assume so, yeah. They are consider there are considerably fewer people by the station compared to before. Did you know all film stories are made up on the spot? Yeah, yeah, clearly. That would explain the current state of the MCU. The few remaining people seem to have gone to the south side of the station. Is something going on over there? Everyone seems to be walking that way. Judging by the time, they're probably here to see steam looking out of Yamaguchi rounding a corner. Huh. As the team watches the tourists move, they suddenly hear a familiar voice from behind. Oh, I see you guys are here too. When they turn around, they see Ubisay and Monami get out of a newly arrived car. What a coincidence meeting you here. Looks like you're location scouting, correct? Uh, yes. Yes, we are. Wait, so, Fisher, you say you're filming here in Su-102? <laughs> well, I'm still thinking about it, but... But, 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 director, everybody I know has a big butt. Why don't you tell me about your big butt? I would rather not. Uh, Maxi, do you know about Naomori Sakazaki? Sakazaki? No, can't say I do. He's known for rescuing Princess Sien at the Siege of Osaka. I accidentally pressed forward, but afterwards he was named Lord of Shuano Castle. He's the one responsible for the area's famous crawling system of aqueducts full of garb. Why are there fish in the aqueducts? Do they, uh, do they contribute to the nutritional value of the water? Is that it? They were said to be put there to combat the mosquito problem, I hear, from the rice store owner. Today, even 400 years after his reign, the land is as beautiful as it was then. You are here for location scouting before even looking that up. Are you sure you can pick out this town's best locations to build? <laughs> Yagamo's at a loss for words when he hears the veteran director's logical argument. If both directors wanted to film in Suwano, then Yagumo would most likely have to back down. That sucks. Seeing Yagumo worry over that thought, Monami chuckles. Hey, Director Ibisei, you shouldn't pick on a young director like that. <laughs> well, seeing his youthful energy just made me want to tease him a bit, you know? Now, now, this is supposed to be a bully free zone. Good grief. I'm sorry about that, Director Max. We're just checking off a list of famous locations in Shimane to get a feel for the setting. Our director's intention was for you to pick out a location first, and then choose another place. Oh, really? Um, th thanks for your consideration. Thanks to me, Sugami, that you let me have first pick from the actresses, too. Thank you. Don't sweat it. I'm a guy shows great potential. I'm expecting a great film from you, too. Okay. I'll do my best. And Hitaha bows deeply. Ibose waves his hand and heads outside the building. Falling behind, Monui smiles and bows before quickly trotting to catch up. I guess they want to see the steam locomotive. Guess so. Our options are very limited now. I don't know about this one. I we, have a, we have a good few characters here. Uh, do you think all of them are going to be voiced? I sure hope not. 
to 25. They arrive at Yasuka Shrine five minutes before their appointment. Tourists have already gathered at Yasuka Shrine, perhaps for the upcoming Hoshiai Festival Dance. That's our guide. Hmm, he should be on the ground somewhere. Hang on, I got his phone number, so I'll call. He's dead, isn't he? Damn. Nagari takes out her phone. Doesn't take long to find him. As Magari talks on the phone, she waves at the hand washing station, and soon enough, a man with a phone in his hand approaches. Your studio Yagumo, right? I'm Max Yagumo. We'd like to ask you to be our guide to. I'm Ken Kuromochi, part time lecturer at Shimano Shuo at University and researcher at of Shimano's local history. I heard everything from Takana at the Japan Heritage Center already, so please relax. Now, I don't know if it's easy to relax when you look at me like that constantly. Please relax, this is an order. Okay, thank you for accompanying us on such short notice. So, with that said, how would you like me to guide you today? Uh, good, please. Well, today our focus is shooting the Hoshii Festival. It moves around until evening, correct? It reaches its final stop at 5 p.m. And that is too late to So today, let's join the Hoshii Festival. I'll give commentary. And later, I can show you some of Chibana's local records I have at home. Thank you. We'd appreciate it. As they talk... Tourists begin to stir. Since the Hoshii Festival procession is near, Yagimo quickly has Kanade set up the camera and prepare for shooting. Eventually, the procession arrives, and the offertory dance begins. Kinda hoping they like suddenly pull out a disco ball or something. The clean bell rings <laughs> through the crisp air as the song begins. It's a spectacle beyond what they had imagined, with some dancers in full costume, and others shaking canes with bamboo leaves attached. What do you think? Isn't it wonderful? Subarashi. Subarashi. It's visually impressive. Vivid colors leave quite an impression. Indeed. Well done about the festival here nationwide. This region has continued this decadent tradition since the Heian period. You can see the heavy influence of the Kikoden, carried out in the Heian period, Imperial Court. You can say it has an exceptional amount of cultural heritage value. I can see why. These costumes are so lovely. They're on par with the Broadway musical costumes. Broadway. <laughs> well, the costumes certainly are beautiful. Even Yagimo can't help but smile when Hita somehow manages to connect Shinto rights with Broadway musicals. That is an interesting connection, to be honest. Eventually, the procession starts moving, and so they start moving as well. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. And to the rice door again. That's my favorite part of every festival. The rice doors. 1640. It's 440 for all you Americans in the audience. They're very skilled in that they are still in the same pose throughout all of these locations, apparently. Yep. Control, click, copy, and drag, and paste. After visiting six locations, like Katakuen and the elementary school, the procession arrives at Yoshinaga Rice Store, famous for its carp bond. Yagamo has been rubbing his nose ever since the solemn offertory dance began. Damn. I was feeling better earlier, but now I want to sneeze again. Tourists silently watch the herons dance. Yagama fears that wouldn't actually be appropriate to sneeze in this situation, but... 
Oh, so you I don't won't stop tickling. A question mark. Who's coughing? Uh, <laughs> Me, I held my breath too long. Okay. Fortunately, Yagua Sneeze is drowned out by another tourist who just so happened to start coughing at the same time. <laughs> I would like, would like to know who this is. <laughs> is it the guy in the background? It seems like a young man wearing a mask can't stop coughing. Can't stop, won't stop. Won't stop the beat. Other tourists don't appreciate the interruption as they keep giving the young man disgusted looks. <sighs> Thank goodness. I feel sorry for the guy, but at least he covered up the sound of my sneezing. Yeah, I think the guy in the background. Kudamochi has run off to go talk to the young man. You can't make out their whisperings, but judging by gestures and expressions, Kudamochi is probably warning him that his coughing's distracting. You don't always really get to control that, unfortunately. Soon enough, the young man slumps his shoulders and leaves. That was close. If he didn't take the heat, then I'd be the one getting lectured. With a little bit of sympathy in his heart, Yagamo breathes a sigh of relief. Seventeen thirty. The offertory dance ends at its final stop, thus ending the Hoshii Festival. The team's filming ends as well. And thus, Studio Yagamo can finally rest easy. Honestly, <sighs> <sighs> that's that. Kanade! You got some good cutaway footage? Hmm. I love Kanade. Such an eloquent speaker. So articulate. Mm hmm. Nice. Guess that's a wrap for filming today. If you're done filming, let me show you my, show you my home. It's only about 15 minutes walk from here. Okay. We've got about an hour until we check in at our hotel, so... Appreciate it. Hitoha, are you tired? Huh? You seem a little pale. Oh, uh, do I? You're tired, you can go on ahead to the hotel. You don't need to force yourself to stick around all day. No, I, I, I'm perfectly fine. I'm sorry for worrying you. Oh, uh, as long as you're okay. Hmm. Hmm. Kromoshi's mansion. That is without question a mansion. As promised, they arrive at Kudamachi's home in 15 minutes flat. Very, very, very specific timing. Must be wealthy as he lives in a mansion on a large plot of land by the river near Tsuano Elementary. That is definitely a sound. When they enter the gates of the tall white walls, they see a serene pond of carp to the right. But are they huge? They're like medium size. <laughs> He's panning to him just staring Yakumo in the back with that face. It looks like Yakumo is about to get pushed into the pond and die. I mean, I don't think getting pushed into just a koi pond would kill you all that security, depends, unless you were like depends. A... Yeah, depends on how you hit your head, I <laughs> guess. I mean, unless you're like the, the target in a Hitman game, in which case any contact yeah. with water will instantly kill you. 
A ver si ya como es not the target in a hitman game. We can't prove anything, but can we prove? Can we prove this is not just Agent Forty Seven in a wig? Yes, because Agent Forty Seven is allergic to wigs. That is true. So you keep Carp here too, huh? Mm -hmm. I think Agent Forty Seven oh, so does have a wig in a clown costume, though. Hmm. No. Yes, I do. Carpons were once in style around these parts, so my father started keeping carp here too. I see. The pond is spectacular. It's gotta be as big as the one at Yoshinaga Rice Store. Really? It's not my thing, so I leave it alone. But it's my wife who takes care of it. Oh, so it's your wife who takes care of the pond. That is exactly what I just said. Well, how much is this pond worth in carp alone? The current local history research isn't profitable, but with a mansion and carp pond, he seems pretty well off. That's actually also my wife. She's well off. With that thought in mind, Yagimo heads inside the grounds as he looks at the swimming carp. Well, feel at home. I'll prepare some tea. Oh, please, don't fuss over us. We don't plan to overstay our welcome. <laughs> no need to be modest. I have to show hospitality to, to, to my guests. Hello? Hello? Demochi raises his voice. Can we just take a moment before we continue to talk about Yagamo's posture? No. My back hurts more just looking at him. It's also uh, funny since I tend to actually try to imitate the poses of the characters when I voice them. Like, for example, when I'm voicing Kuramochi, I, I constantly, like, just cross my arms like that. So I imagine if I was voicing Yakumo, I might just actually try to adopt that same pose. <laughs> just read the scene in that pose. Here, I feel additional knots forming in my spinal column. <laughs> You don't even have to adopt the pose, you feel it. Upon which... After a rushed pitter-patter of slippers, a door opens and a young woman peeks out. Do I take this as well? Mm, no. Minions. No, you have a young... Oh no, Magi doesn't talk much, Sherry. Sure, you, you take her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You call, Professor? Hmm? No, it's you, Shiba. Where's my wife? You can take the wife then if we see her. Sure. But then I'm still resting, perhaps? Mm. She sure picked a bad time. We've got guests. She's dead, isn't she? Kudama resting in peace. Kudamachi seems displeased as he murmurs. Sorry. Can you give me a moment? I need to have my wife greet you too. Oh, if she's resting, you don't have to force her. No, no, we must be hospitable for our guest. I'll go wake her up. Come with me, Shiba. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Kurumachi and Shiba head inside the room. Their room. Once their footsteps have faded into the distance, Magadi whispers. He kind of feels like a Showa era boomer, you know? Like he's a domineering husband and everything. I guess. Yagama shrugs his shoulders and says nothing more. An awkward silence fills the reception room now that its owner is gone. And then. Told ya. Huh? Uh, huh? Is <laughs> A sudden shriek shakes the Kudamachi household, causing everyone to jump off the sofa. The sound of that shriek signals the start of the first incident on Studio Yagimo's hands. Well, the first real incident at any rate. 
da 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 Chapter two. Chapter two. Two. Part two. Chapter two. Point two. Of K still. Version two. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Can you ever get the feeling of deja vu being the race can't say something you've experienced before? Yeah, yeah it's probably yeah. nothing. A sudden shriek shakes the Kudamachi household, causing everyone to jump off the sofa. I would find it even funnier if this watch literally says, This already happened, and now it just happens again, they shut back down. All of them just repeats. What's a pretty serious scream? Yeah. Everyone runs towards where the stream came from, deeper inside the mansion. Running very fast, as you can say. <coughs> Man, that disease is really going around. Mm -hmm. Yagamo and the others rush through the hallway, deep inside the mansion. And when they arrive in front of an open door, they find Kudamochi and Shiba bent over, coughing. Deep inside the mansion. Kudamochi! Shiba! What happened? Yagama looks in the room as he calls out to them. There he sees... a woman sitting limply on a rocking chair, her face in anguish. I feel like that arm somehow still clutching her chest doesn't look very limp. It's a very large scar on her shoulder. I'm sure that will be relevant really? to the case's backstory in some way. My headphones are also complaining. I'm gonna put them to charge while we're doing this. What? Yeah, come on, murmurs as he gazes into the room. His nose is overwhelmed by a scent like the chlorine from the swimming pool. <laughs> it's really going around. Director! Director! Are you okay? Stay back! Hey, <laughs> baby! When he and Magari rush over to Yagamo, he halts them and squeezes out directions. He needs to get good emoji and shame outside and call the police <laughs> and an ambulance too. Something I just started uh, thinking about randomly. Is Kanada here with us? Because I don't think I saw him sitting anywhere even in at the side of the scene. Well, that doesn't prove anything. Is Kanada might or might not be with us? I don't remember him mentioning him leaving. Well, anybody mentioning him leaving, I don't think he would mention it anyway. Kind of I don't know if he actually joined us. Mention things. Hmm. Said I do have to wonder if he's uh, you know, like enjoying the little adventures we're all taking him on. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 okay. Magari, come today. Open the windows. We gotta ventilate quick. We gotta vent. It's incredibly Ro sus what's happened here. Roger. As they watch Heat Hadrag Kudamachi and Shiba, Yagawa, Makari, and Kanade, the hallway windows one by one. <laughs> we, we, we got confirmation that Kanade is the hallway windows one by one. <laughs> that would explain <laughs> something, <laughs> I, I'm sure. Fresh air flows in, thinning the noxious gas. Now that he can breathe a bit easier, Yakimo takes another look inside the room. At least I got confirmation for my question there. Moment inside is sitting in the same spot, showing no signs of stirring. After opening all the windows, Magadi and Kanade come up next to him and blankly stare inside. Director, is she... She must have been Kudamuchi's wife. Face is signs of liver mortis. It's to her face has mm -hmm. signs of liver mortis. 
Okay, children, who can tell me what that means? I actually don't know. <laughs> Liver mortis is the technical terminology for the effect where blood pools in the bottom facing side for the corpse as it lies down. Mm -hmm. So if there's liver mortis on her face, that means she was lying face down and was propped up in that chair. Like mm -hmm. hours after her death. Now That's whether the true. localizer knows that, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I like to think this game's earned the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So that might be purposeful. And hmm. Nice and that, Captain. Yeah, that that implies things. So then look next to her body. Huh? When Yagama motions with his jaw, Margari looks next to the body. There's a metal basin with a bottle of detergent floating in a clear liquid. What is that? It's like it's full of water. It's not water. But in my cool smell, it's a mix of bleach and acidic detergent. Judging by Kuramoji and Shiba's symptoms, I bet the basin filled the room with chlorine gas. So, was it murder? Definitely. Why else would we be here? Yeah, it was an accident. It's metal basins. Unnatural. It's either murder or suicide. And there is a note there. Ganade <sighs> mm. says something other than hmm, aka not saying anything. Oh, he's still not saying anything. It's just he's doing it yeah. slightly differently. It is still variety. <laughs> After a few moments of awkward silence. Yagaba murmurs as he stares at the body. Kanade, Kanade what are you doing? Uh, 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 Kanade is saying other things! I'm asking why you've put down the camera. Hmm. Uh, uh, roll the camera! This is the highest variety of Kanade lines we've seen in a long while. <laughs> Ever, actually. Whoa, what do you think you're saying? This is an actual incident! Exactly! An actual incident! We can't call ourselves a studio if you let an opportunity like this slip by! Damn. That's crazy, Director! Even if we do film it, it's not footage we can use! Who cares if we can't use it? We're a film studio, so we've gotta film! Now, roll that camera, Kanade! Mm. Mm. Overwhelmed by Yagamo's intensity, Kanade quickly picks up the camera. As instructed by Yagamo, Kanade films every nook and cranny of the room. Nagari can only watch in exasperation. The next morning. Studio Yagimo gathers in the inn room of Yoshinoya where they stayed last night. As discoverers of Akari's, Akutamachi's wife's body, they were interviewed by the police for hours. As a result, I don't say much in the morning, because they're all exhausted. We can talk to Kanade! It's off the screen again! I mean, we, we could, in fact, talk to Kanade. It's a question of how much we get out of it. I want to start with Kanade. Alright. Kanade, have you backed up all the footage from yesterday? Hmm. Good. Gotta lock it up in the van. Be sure to back up the day's footage, too. Hmm. Thank you. Do I want to talk to Kanade again? Sure. Kanade, can I ask you something? Hmm. 
What do you say when you meet cucumber and walk your man dressed in vinegar? <laughs> what? Hmm? I knew it! <laughs> do we talk to him again? Do you want third to? Time? Yeah, let's go for a third one. Yes. It might be the game. Yeah. Sad. Mm. Uh, Kanada is best, best character. Kanada is best girl. Uh, my career, he does. Probably gonna have to go through both of them. Uh, let's start with Hito. Okay. Sorry for dragging you into this mess, Hito, huh? Uh, oh, it's, yeah. it's not like it's your fault, Director Max. Unless you killed her. I, I very much doubt that's the case. <laughs> it would be quite a twist. Besides, I'm the one who wanted to join for location scouting, so please, don't worry about me. Mm. Uh, if you say so. But what happened last night was most likely a chlorine gas explosion. Just a whiff of it makes you deathly nauseous. Cut up the Kuramachi in Shiba. So if you feel even slightly uncomfortable, just say so, as soon as possible. I'm fine since I didn't get too close to the room. How about you, Director? Are you okay? You were coughing really hard last night. I'm fine. I'm confident in how sturdy my body is. Your brain's probably just too slow to notice it's dying. Wow, okay, rude. <laughs> ah, shut up. Okay, for that, let's talk to Magari next. M made me feel hurt? Made me feel inadequate? So... And now you're dismissing my feelings, too. So what? Uh, I mean... So what are we gonna do now? Good question. Are we still location hunting? We are. Sure, we witnessed a tragedy, but we still gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, well, I guess so. Hita, you okay with that? Yes, I agree with the director. Yeah, I don't need to think too hard about it. With every production comes some trouble. Yeah, but usually people don't die during production trouble. I mean, but are you sure? We are two for two at this rate. Yeah. We're the exception that proves the rules, you know. Uh, let's go back to Hito. Let's uh, Barry. You know, that was my first police interview. I was surprised since I thought they'd be scarier. Well, lately they record interrogations to keep police in line. And besides, we're just witnesses. It's a serious incident, so we should assume it won't end with one interview. It might be stressful. I'm okay. Let's just think of this as part of getting in character. Do we even know what the character is yet? No, we, we still don't have a script. And we might never. <laughs> right. Well, now that we've been dragged into this mess, we should take it in stride. So we're gonna have, like, uh, someone die during location scouting, we're gonna have someone die during script writing, we're gonna have someone die during uh, all of the parts of filming. Like, See, every part of making the film is gonna have somebody die. See, your entire argument is predicated on the assumption that no one else is going to die during location scouting. I mean... True, true. I'm just assuming that our location scouting is going to end during this. So that we're going to just stick with Suwano. To Magare. Yep. So, what are you going to do with the film you shot? 
I'm not gonna use it. The event that occurred during location scouting. That's all. That's all? It was an actual incident, but you filmed it. What were you thinking? This film could serve as a clue to finding out the truth of the incident, you know? And whose job is it, is it to find the truth? A detective, not a director. And I'm sure the police detectives are on the case. But so are we. We're scouting that location. What, the room that the girl was in? I don't yes. think that's what location scouting means. You keep using that word. You could not think it means what you think it means. We were going to film a mystery TV drama and we got caught in an actual mystery. The studio, we can't just stay left in the dark, can we? I think it's because we're a studio that it's not our job to bring the case to light. Magari still seems displeased, but she can likely tell from Yagimo's face that he won't back down. So, without another word, she just closes her eyes and thinks. Uh, do we go back to Hitoha or do we try Kanade again? I was, I, I, I was gonna try Kanade again. Let's try Kanade again. Okay. It's about this time we head out. Where are we going today? Well, we didn't get to see the Taikodani Inari or Washihara Hachimanga shrines, so let's do those. First, we should visit Kuramachi. Gotta know what happened after that. I suppose you're right. Okay, let's go. Magari, Kanade, you ready? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. A mansion we go. Kuramachi's gate is sealed off with police tape, with imposing police officers coming in and out. Through the tape, just phasing straight through it like mm -hmm. ghosts. The onside investigation must still be underway. It doesn't seem like Studio Yagimo can get in. Director, I don't think they'll let us in. Hmm. Well, I figured. But I'd like to shoot inside. Can I put find a way? Oh, please don't force your way in. You've got, a, like, you've got like a 100% chance of getting busted. I know, I know. Just spitball in here. Why the hell you were? Your eyes were dead serious. Relax. There's no way I'd actually do it. Not me. Yeah, you're gonna send Kanade in there instead. Ah, uh, real convincing there. I mean, Kanade is invisible, so it's a good chance mm -hmm. he wouldn't get caught. And we're gonna film it. Kanade is the one who d would have to do it anyway, so... Oh god, he feels awkwardly unsure if Yakima is seriously considering trespassing. Meanwhile, Hitoha tries to get their attention. Oh. Hmm? What's up, Hitoha? Over there. Without another word, Hitoha motions with her eyes towards what's behind the gate. Two detectives are eyeing them suspiciously as they whisper amongst themselves. Do you want to take one and I take the other? Uh, sure. Which one do you want to be? Left or right? Uh, I'll take I'll take the one who's sort of doughy and doesn't know how to shave properly. Okay. Hmm. Since these detectives weren't here last night, they must not belong to the local first responders or the white or the riot squ squad. But the prefectural what? police. They stop talking, exchange glances, and slowly start approaching. Oh, crap! Run! That's like one of the most suspicious things to do in this situation. Run to that! Hmm. Nagidi and Kade seem quite accustomed to running away at Yagimo's signal. We lead interesting lives. Not you, you too, Hita. Huh? Uh, okay. 
Galgamo grabs Hita by the hand and runs off. Studio Yankamo runs like the wind as the detectives angrily shout behind them. Things could have gotten dicey back there. Let's look somewhere else for the time being. Uh, do we just go visit the two places that we mentioned we should visit? We're gonna have to go to a lot of places by the time this case is done, but I see no reason not to go there first. Yeah. Uh, Pachimang or Inari? Uh, I say we go to Takedani first. It's closer. Yep. Beep. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the these dark, yo. <laughs> the studio Yakima passes through the Tori Corridor, Takodani Inari Shrine, one of the five biggest Inari Shrines in Japan. As they pass under Tori, surrounded by greenery, as, as crickets chirp, feels like another world. Look, Aine. It looks so different. <laughs> uh, you're right. It was so plain back then. I didn't even any Tori at the time. Gita and Nagini have fun as they compare images on their phones to the sights seen today. Yagama peeks from behind to see they're looking at the 100 views map they saw yesterday. What's that? It's the 100 Views Tour app. Aine and I found it this morning, so we downloaded it. It syncs with your GPS to show you where each of the 100 views was sketched. Hmm. Huh. It looks like the app works on, with Instagram. Let's take a selfie and put it on Instagram. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a selfie and post it on Instagram for our Instagram. I can't believe we're getting paid five whole dollars every time we say the word Instagram. Damn. The girls take a selfie with the Tori Corridor as if they were sisters. Yagamo smiles and sighs in relief as he watches them. I was worried about them yesterday. But they seem fine. As they finally clear the Tori Corridor, they reach the Inari Shrine. I think I see someone I recognize in the background. There are definitely figures there. Whoa, these crowns sure are spacious! The Tori Corridor suddenly opens up to a wide area where the wind blows. Okay, I want to go to the left first because, uh... Is that Shiba? Is it? I don't know. Looks like it's Shiba. Mm hmm. A lone woman stands at the Straits of Tsuano. A lone woman stands gazing at the Straits of Tsuano from the Shrine of Grounds, catches Yagumo's eye. Did we meet her at Kudamachi's house? What was her name? Oh, it was Shiba, wasn't it? Ah, oh, that's it. Hey, Shiba! Shiba! Shiba turns around and rushes over at the sound of her name. You the guest from yesterday. Um, Yakumo, was it? Yes, I'm Yakumo. You feeling okay, Shiba? I'm fine, thanks to you. My head hurts a little, but I was discharged this morning. Dr. Kuramochi should be discharged this afternoon, too. I see. Well, at least it's not serious. Shiba and Kudamochi directly breathed in what seems to be chlorine gas, so they were immediately sent to a hospital. Fortunately, their condition wasn't too serious, and Shiba seems visibly fine and symptom-free. By the way, what are you doing here, Shiba? Oh, I went to Dr. Kuramochi's house, but couldn't get in due to the ongoing investigation. Oh, well, I guess that figures. I just sort of wandered around nearby and besides, look! Shiba walks over to the edge of the shrine grounds and You can see all of Tsuwana from here. I love the view from here. Oh look at this photograph. 
right, it's such a nice view. I know, right? But... Sheba furrows her eyebrows a bit. I follow her gaze to see... Is that Kuramachi's house? Yeah, you can see the police cars parked outside. Near the edge of the hill and level ground, they can clearly see Kuramachi's house, where they had visited just yesterday. On closer inspection, in addition to police cars, there are officers swarming around like little ants. Sight is like a black stain on an otherwise beautiful view of a, in the hearts of all present. Can we talk to her again? Sure, why not? Oh, right, Shiba. How do you know Kuramochi exactly? Are you a housemate or something? She can't be a oh, maid, me? she's not wearing a uniform. Yeah, clearly. Well, I'm kinda like a maid, kinda like a living student laborer, but without the living. Student laborer? As in, the student laborers in the Meiji era? The ones that worked for room and board? Something like that. I then talk to Kuramachi's history seminar at Shimane Chua University. On weekends, I pretend to be a student laborer. Oh, so it's like a part-time job, huh? Totally not worth it for the money, though. But it's not hard work, just running errands for Dr. Kuramochi and his wife. The biggest draw is free access to rare documents in his archive. He's got valuable academic books that you just can't buy on a student's budget, you see. So, he's got academic books. Mm -hmm. just, just any academic books fit that description. Mm -hmm. So it's for both work and study, huh? Exactly! <laughs> uh, third time, or should we change? I, I feel like the game has not been given us a lot of third options lately. There have been a few cases, though, so who yeah. knows? Alright, fine, we'll do one just to, just to prove your point. Okay. Sorry if this is abrupt, but you were Kurumachi's house all day yesterday too, Shiba? Y yes, as always. I got, to, I got to the professor's house in the morning and was there until you all came. Okay, so we can say with certainty she's not the culprit because this is clearly an alibi case given all the folks they gave on the movements mm -hmm. of that parade earlier. So therefore, anybody who doesn't have an alibi, we can immediately discount. Did you hear anyone, anything out of place? Or see anyone coming in and out? You're asking the same things as the police. Shiva's expression suddenly clouds over upon hearing Yagimo's question. Yagimo does his best to give her a pleasant smile as he continues. Uh, sorry if that's a touchy subject, but now that we're involved, I'm curious about the case. You don't have to talk if you're uncomfortable. Well, I already talked to the detective yesterday, and I don't really know much, so I might as well. You don't really know much? Yesterday, the professor said he was eating out for lunch, so he left around 1 p.m. At that time, his wife said she was feeling bad, so she was going to rest. Her red books in the archive after that, so I should not to disturb her. So I don't know anything other than that. I see. Well, if that's all you know, that's all you know. You know? But I didn't hear anything in particular from, the, from when the professor left to when you all arrived. I see. We arrived just before 6 p.m., so we don't know how Kurumachi's wife was doing from 1 to 6. Oh, actually, I did check up on her once. At 2.30. No, maybe a little before that. The professor called and asked to check on her since he was worried. It was around 2.30, then that means... That was right before we called to meet up at the Yasaka Shrine, huh? 
Yeah, if his wife was a fiend, well, it makes sense to check on her at his destination. So what happened, Shiba? Um, the professor could not wake her up to look through the small window, which I did. You can, you can see some of the wife's room from the hallway through the small window, see? How was she? Nothing stood out. I could not see her face, but she was quietly resting in her rocking chair. Which implies she was actually sitting down already at that point, then. Not lying face down. Uh... See, the sort of assumption the case we usually make when we hear things like that in a mystery story is that she was mm. dead and propped up yeah. in a chair, but I'm not actually sure if She that... might have actually been alive at that point then, huh? I have a lot of theories, but we have basically no evidence mm -hmm. to work off of at this stage. Yeah, we have very little yet. I will avoid prejudice myself. Mm -hmm. It wasn't slouching or anything. Yeah, the obvious like assumption would be that she was already dead. No, she was in perfect resting posture. <sighs> when we saw her body in the room, her posture suggested she died after a painful struggle. So, basically, that means she was still alive when Shiva peeked into the room at 2.30, huh? Yeah. That is a possibility here still. Fourth time, I don't think we'll get much. What would you want to go for? I basically picked us to go for Shiba three times here. I'm stalling slightly because we're in the middle of an ad break on my stream. I want to talk to those two other people in the background because I think I recognize one of them as well. Which one? Um, The one that are people that are not Shiba. No, I mean, well, which one do you recognize? I think that person in the purple shirt is the granny you played last case. It might be, because there are similarities, but I don't remember the outfit the granny had, so I'm not sure. I can take the granny, though, nonetheless, whether it's the same one or not. Only one. Two women, presumably tourists, cheerfully show each other their booklets in hand. Ah, oh, they must be collecting shoe and steel shoe and seal stamps. Steel stamps. That's, stamps. A, that's apparently a popular trend these days. What's interesting about it is how it's got that stamp collector component to it. You know, that interesting thing that reminds you of stamp collecting. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Are we we're gonna try them again? <laughs> There's nothing else there. Uh, unfortunate. I accidentally went there a third time. There we go. Uh, Otters. Ryan, the shrine itself. Alright, shrine, tell me your secrets. Main shrine is solemn and fitting of the title of one of the five biggest Iyari shrines. In Japan. Most people only visit from the front, and they say you can get close to the gods from the back. Unless they recommend visiting from the back if you want to pray for a greater blessing. Ha. Huh. Fascinating, Captain. Wanna try that again? Eh, probably not, but sure. Not yeah, the background the... stuff don't really seem that's to give insane. extra. Do we want to talk to Magadi and or Hitaha just for completion's sake? Yeah, let's go Makari first. Okay. Huh? That Shanshi is car blessing area. You can drive a car all the way here? What happens if you get your car blessed, I wonder? It gets blessed, most likely. Uh. Yeah, and if you come from the side opposite from the tour corridor, you can get here by car. Now if we're gonna visit here, you might as well go through the toy corridor anyway, you know? Yeah, I guess so. Passing underneath the Tori with your own two feet seems more sacred, too. Ah, uh, Hitoha's turn. 
Um, now that we're here, why don't we go pray? Pray. Why would we yes. do that at the shrine? We just got through a scary event, so I thought it might be nice. Uh, you're right. We might be location scouting, but we are going to shrines, so we might as well. Yes, you got a point. And then we did. Upon Hita's suggestion, they pray at the shrine. But among the group, Magari makes an odd face. Hmm. What's wrong? I'm oh, just wondering, since we're visiting shrines, but how much do you put in the offertory, Hita? I always put in 100 yen. Me too, but you know... Hmm? What's wrong? Well, I haven't seen you to any silver coins, Director. I think they're holding copper. Eh? Copper? <laughs> no way, I'm not a kid. I wouldn't be stingy enough to only offer 10 yen coins. <laughs> Really? Was I just seeing things wrong? Yeah, definitely. It probably only looks like that because of the light. Oh, well, I guess there's no way that you'd be that much of a miser, right, Director? Haha! Ah, Magadi and Yagamo share a laugh. But Yagamo seems to be sweating a bit. It's just hot out. Um, uh, Magari and Hitoha again? I am curious if play? that thing Magari said about the parking lot is going to matter ever. Because that, that could be either something that matters or just like, hey, as a tourist, you can also come here by car if you want. Like, it could be either way. I'm gonna poke Magari again. Yeah, I already did. Whoa, we sure are high up, huh? The view's nice and the priest feels great. It's so exciting here. Well, figures you'd love getting high. E excuse me? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, uh. Nothing. <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> okay, he's high again. Oh, right. Hita, what did you pray for? It feels like changing the subject after they comment to Magari. <laughs> like, nothing? Hito, right? What did you pray for? Well, for the success of this project, obviously. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You have to give everything your best efforts, and then the rest is up to heaven. True. As creators, we bring life to many ideas, but you never know what'll be a hit and miss. Magari again? Try everything three times? That's... that's the limit. It's the same as Haya. I'm gonna poke Shiba one more time just to see. There is new stuff with Shiba. Um, what do you think I can go back inside the professor's home? That really depends on the place. But on-scene investigations typically start wide and narrow in scope, so you should be able to go in soon with the exception of the wife's room. Oh, is that how it works? I don't know, I'm just making shit up as I go. <laughs> I'm gonna poke Hitohat one more time as well, just to be safe. Nope, nothing new. I... Shiba one more time, just to be safe, but I think that was the last one. Yeah, I think we've exhausted everything now. Alright. Well, let's make like trees and get out of here then. I somehow accidentally pressed Shiba again while going for the exit. And they made their heroic escape. And to the other shrine we go. Washihara Hachimangu Shrine. The Murumachi era Washihara Hachimangu Shrine has a two story Roman gate and is designed as a nationally important cultural property. That is quite the mouthful, the Murumachi era Washihara Hachimangu Shrine. 
Uh, at least it doesn't have a Roman gauge, then it would wind up looking like a gorilla with a stupid <laughs> diving helmet. Uh. Where on the graph do must and cannot intersect? Behind the main building is a bridge leading to an annex. The architectural style present at the shrine is quite characteristic of its time. This is a nice location too. Got it. Go around and get a good shot of the whole place. Hmm. Yeah, and Kanadi start filming the environment. And that's when Magadi and Hita have returned from their visit deeper into the grounds. Hey, director! The small main building's crazy! Huh? Crazy in what way? There's a whole wall decorated with dolls. There's bamboo pinwheels all out front. It's kind of creepy. Kind of like the kind of place I would actually like to visit. Oh. Are they doing a doll burial ceremony? Those dolls have been dedicated to the shrines, so there's nothing scary about them. The way they're all lined up neatly is kind of, you know. Yeah, it kind of makes you feel like... Like you're being watched. Whoa! Gasp. <laughs> the sudden sound of a throaty voice from behind frightens Magidi and Hitaha. Please don't say throaty. Throaty. When they turn around, they see Ibuse and Monami, who they hadn't noticed approaching. Vertavali, uh, which one are you meaning? <laughs> I have a guess which one you mean. Monami must have found their reaction amusing as she tries to hide her smile with a hand. <laughs> I'm sorry for surprising you like that. Uh, don't worry, we're <laughs> fine. Y yeah, we're not surprised at all. I see. That's good. I I, I think it's more natural to start with Ibuke. Yeah, but we'll talk to your favorite character. Apparently. Right, there's something I needed to tell you. Hmm? What is it? Well, you see, someone stole the whites of my eyes, and I need you to get them back for me. <laughs> yes. We've got our third director, Kentaro Yamagishi. Heard of him? Kentaro Yamagishi. Yes, I know of him. He's a young but influential, energetic director. Virtually, I don't think you can say knew it when Mitsuda clearly said that because you said that. <laughs> Indeed. The three of us will be competing to see who can make the better film for this project. Who can best depict the radiance of life and the abyss of death. Let's see if you can beat the last man standing. Only one of us is walking away from this case of life. We kill our formidable opponents, but I'm gonna give it everything I got. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your best. My pleasure. Also, what is it? Are you two picked out your actresses? Of course. After you pick Ramakata, we chose from the remaining two actors. Which one of you got stuck with the one in the yellow folder? So, who did you pick, Director Ibuse? Kasumi Ishikawa. She's a veteran and I've worked with her several times, so I know what she's like. No. Oh. Ah, I see! So you picked the veteran actress. Okay. Good. Okay, so Yakumo did not want Ibushi to work with whoever was in the yellow folder. I guess. I'm gonna uh -huh. go out on a limb and guess it's someone we know from events from before the game. My weird guess that I don't think it would be is a certain someone who is arriving the day after tomorrow. 
but I am highly doubtful. No, it could be. It could very well yeah, be. Yeah, like, if it be someone we have already heard of, that that would be the case. But I don't know, guys. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. That's my current guess if it is someone we have actually seen. Otherwise, I have no idea, because it would be someone we haven't seen. But it's not like we have seen Sakuya. We've only heard by name. I'm raising Yakima looks relieved as he nods over and over. Confused, Yurisei looks at him dubiously. Let's... let's alternate. You and Amakata seem to be working well together, Yakima. Oh, I you think so? I can hear it. Yes, it does appear that way. I'm glad I convinced him to include a younger actress candidate. Hmm? What do you mean... Our director was initially planning on only nominating veteran actresses. So, uh... I forget his name. Ishokawa, I think? Ishokawa got advice from Ibushi, who got advice from Haishima. In selecting these three. Got it. But who did Haishima get advice from? We, that remains to be seen. It's probably... Uh, uh, how much... I bet you it was Isogami. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Ishigami got advice from Ibushi, who got advice from Hashima, who got advice from Ishigami, who got advice from Ibushi. <laughs> I told him it'd be hard for a new director to work with a veteran actress, so he ended up nominating younger actresses too. Oh, so it's thanks to you that we got at least one younger actress candidate? I only asked for younger actresses to be included. Director Ibisa is the one who made the selection. Okay, now I don't think the yellow folder is going to be Shakuya. I assume Shakuya's on the younger side? They did say at least one. That does include the possibility of it being two. Hmm. Yeah. Still, it's a big help. It Plus, uh, they did mention the other director is also a young, unproven man. Yeah. Like, at least one just sounds more like it implies that there wouldn't have been the one that we got otherwise. But yeah, it doesn't exactly lock out the possibility of there being two either. Still, it's a big help. It'd be a bit rough to use a veteran actress for my TV drama debut. Really? As long as I didn't overstep my place, I'm glad. Mami smiles. Unlike Mangari and Hidara, she has a mature Cha'ora. Yagumo can't help but feel his cheeks blush. And alternating. And Ibuji. Well then, it's about time we move on. Let's go, Hashima. Yes, sir. We've seen what we wanted to see in Tsuwano. You guys are staying here, right? Yeah. There are still some places we want to see. I see. Well, best of luck to you. Thanks. As Yagimo bows his head, Ibise and Monami leave. Once they've gone far away, Magari murmurs. You know, those do seem like an adulterous couple. I believe uh, that is the longest line we have seen gotten from Kanade. <laughs> 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 That's rude. They <laughs> can't help but laugh at that remark. But I could, so maybe they're just weak. Yeah. Even Hita has her hand up against her mouth as she stifles a laugh. Is it bad that I kind of fail to see what's that funny about it? Oh, where to next? Cause that was kind of it. Where are we Do going? We... Where are we going? Do we visit the Yasaka Shrine again, just to keep going to shrines? Might as well. Unlike yesterday, there were a few people to be seen at Yasuka Shrine. Chair's quiet today. 
But I like it this way. Me too. Shrines are pretty nice sunny days, but a quiet mood suits them well. Yeah. Again, in the uh, in, in the Japanese voice acting, that line is like 15 syllables long. Damn. It's always funny when that happens, when it's like, there's like one syllable in English, and then there's like 15 in Japanese. But then sometimes there's like three syllables in Japanese and freaking two sentences in English. That doesn't happen as often as the other way around, but uh... Yeah, it well, does still happen sometimes. M mo like with Japanese, at least. Peter has smiles and nods. Yagimo can't help but smile back before he gives Kanade the instructions. Kanade, give me some cuts to the shrine without any people. We get to see his arm. Hmm. As instructed, Kanade shoulders the camera and moves towards the main shrine building. While he waits for people to move out of the way, a man with a camera seems to take the hint as he lightly bows before leaving. Oh, sorry about that. Thanks. I can be the guy. Oh, no worries. We're all journalists here, right? You with the new station? Oh, no. We're just location scouting for a film. Are you shooting for a magazine? Yes, I'm Tokima. I'm on the editorial department for Many Travels. Oh, uh, I read your magazine from time to time. You've got a good taste in locations. <laughs> Thanks. Have to hear it. We're gonna go a deep dive special. We're gonna do a deep dive special feature on Q&A. So please check it out when it hits the shelves. The magazine editor named Tokima has a friendly chat with Yagima before he excuses himself to do more photography. Fuck. I don't think we could go to the mansion yet. What do you think? I am gonna recommend the Heritage Center. Yeah. It's connected to the victim. That is true. That is true. He spots Studio. Can actually keep... Maybe Takano can actually tell us something. When he spots Studio Yagimo, Takano rushes over. <laughs> Hello, Yagimo. I heard things got out of hand. They got to my white eye whites as well. It's a true catastrophe. I'm sorry about that. I never thought something like that would happen at Dr. Kudomochi's house. The way you read his lines, with that little smile he has, it sounds so like, I never thought, like, yeah, he actually expected this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yagimo. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Yeah, that kind of line reading with the smile he has on his face, too. I don't, I don't mention it. We're just stopping by. No need to apologize. Thank you. Still, I was shocked when I heard the news this morning. Are you acquainted with Kudamachi's wife? No, I've never met her, but I heard she was beautiful. Yeah, she was probably beautiful enough for rumors to spread about her. Yagma recalls what he witnessed yesterday, truly a vision of beauty. She was blue. Da ba dee da ba die. Why did such a beautiful woman have to meet such a tragic end? Why, God? Why couldn't it have been someone ugly instead? Yeah, that's literally what I thought about that line. It should have been an ugly one dying instead, rather than a beautiful one. Now that we've been dragged into this, I can't rest until the culprit has been caught. Okay, that didn't give us much either. Uh, do we go? The carps are possibly related. Both places had carps. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go with the right star for the carps. 
Oh, back again? Back again today? Sorry, we're back. The, the Sorry, we're back at your store. <laughs> you know, this is how I begin every stream. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. This is how I, I, I say when I go pay for goods and services. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Anyway, yesterday was rough, huh? I can't believe what happened at Kuramochi. Sorry, I'll get tracked into it. Must be tough. Huh? You know we got dragged into it? The guards speak to me. Well, it's a small town. Rumors pretty quick. They say a new screw got there before the police. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's not quite right. I guess that's just the nature of rumors. Yagma can't help but smile wryly. It's uncertain if the rice dealer noticed or not, but he continues with a serious look on his face. You see, everyone's worried about what's happening with this year's Hoshia festival. Since we just had another strange death in such a small town. Oh, please do tell more. Uh-huh. Um, what do you mean by another? I find it funny that so far I feel like the freaking rice dealer is going to be the most helpful one that we've talked to. Oh, where are you the where? There was a man named Seiya Ito who lived in a small house behind here. But last night, he was found to have hung himself. Is that the guy who had a cough? No, it can't be. I don't think he... We saw him alive too close to the time of death. Or too far after the time of death. Well, we saw him yesterday before the night, and he hung... was found... having hung himself last night. So this... hmm... He wouldn't have necessarily been dead yet when we last saw him. That everyone exchanges glances. The two unnatural deaths in the same day in such a small town? Seems like too much of a coincidence for them to be unrelated. Director? Let's go check out Ito's house. They must all be feeling the same way. Magari and Hito had not at Yagamo's suggestion. Because that guy had a cough when we met met him. He potentially might have known uh, Kuramochi beforehand, based on Kuramochi going to talk to him. And if he was found during the night having hung himself, he would have had the time to go do that after we last saw him during the procession. Maybe. We don't know where he was before the procession. Of course, this idea is semi-predicated on the idea that it was actually a suicide, which I don't believe for mm -hmm. a fraction of a second. There is still a possibility that he is behind the murder and for some reason that also relates to him actually ha he ha like hanging himself. Okay, but realistically speaking. Yeah. But there is still the poss possibility overall, whether it was a suicide or not, to ha if like the death was still hanging in his room, whether it was by someone else or himself. If he was found during the night, we saw him like, what? 4 p.m.? 5 p.m.? If that is the uh, same guy we saw, saw the procession, because uh, we also don't know that yet. And given that he was wearing a mask, it's unlike we'll be able to tell just by looking. Yeah. I have no idea what the name of the guy was that we saw either. Do you want to stretch his new? Yeah, I, I so kind of clicked that already. Uh, Following the directions of the Yoshinaga owner, they go to the house of suicide victim Seiya Ito. And without much trouble, they find the house right behind Yoshinaga. No. Hmm. Is that it? 
Cops are here. Jeez, that it's the cops. It's Please. a shame too, detectives too. The police are likely investigating the suspicious circumstances of the death. There are police cars parked outside the house, which is sealed off with police tape. Officers are patrolling the area. Hmm? Hmm? Meet you guys again. Mr. Yakima has been spotted filming. Again. Detectives they saw Kudamaji's house start rushing over towards them. <laughs> what a pain. Let's run. I really feel like it's more suspicious if you run every single time the detectives spot you. Yeah, well, I'd rather look right. suspicious outside than look innocent in jail. Uh. Right. Uh, hi. Uh, okay. Without looking back at the shouting detective, Studio Yagama runs away at full speed. That means they're no longer at the Kuramoshi's mansion, though. So, do we go back there or do we visit Suwano Station first? Because we uh, never went there yet. I, I, I expect more lucrative dealings at the mansion. So, we go to the mansion now. Boink. Kudamoto should be coming back soon, right? Studio Yagimo approaches the Kudamochi mansion, ready to run from the police if they get caught. <laughs> We just keep running. Suddenly, they hear people arguing. What's going on? They look. Oh! To find Kudamochi loudly arguing with someone in front of the gates. They get in each other's faces until the officers nearby step in to stop them. Hey, cut it out! Get away from each other! Get off! Get off me! This man! This man's younger brother! He... What are you talking about? Don't blame your wife's infidelity on me! I'm not sure how I feel about that accent. You can't say words like infidelity in the, the angry Brooklyn accent. It's got too many syllables. You, no one will believe you, he actually you, knows it. You just gotta try. Stop it! Stop it right now, Ito! Among the men is a familiar face. That's Hakima, the man we met early at the man we met early at Tezuka Shrine, right? Yeah. I don't recognize the man arguing with Kudamochi though. Isn't that the name of the guy who committed suicide last night? Also called uh, this guy's brother, which is like the one who committed suicide, which infidelity. Yeah, I'm absolutely connected to the wife there. <laughs> with the coughing. He must be Seiya Ito's older brother. Kudamochi and the man called Ito. Both of them are too emotional right now to, play, to pay the police trying to stop them any heed. Studio Yagamo quietly watches them at a distance. Pity if we were younger brother. Hmm? Pity if we were uh, if we were any closer to the crime scene, we could go microwave's popcorn. Hmm. Your younger brother had no place in this house. A rotten womanizer, making bashes at married women without any self-respect. Bullshit! If anyone was making passes at anyone, it was your whore of a wife. <sighs> That is a key word! Yes. Whore. <laughs> I knew it the whole time. Miss <laughs> Kudamochi and Seiya Ito had a special relationship. What's going on? What sort of relationship did Kudamochi's wife have with Seiya Ito, who committed suicide? Things heat up even further when the men in his. Between the men is Yagamo and the others watch. Eventually, the police get fed up with the scuffle, they pry the two apart and bring Kudamachi inside. Ito seems to give up when officers block his way and talk him and he drags him away. Oh, he's practicing real violent, huh? Indeed. 
She must have had some connection with Nisei Ito's suicide and Ms. Kuramaki's death. Yeah, I think it's starting to feel pretty obvious what most likely happened. So we absolutely think Professor Kimono Ware was the culprit, right? <sighs> Possibly, but not necessarily. I'm, I'm like 80-85% sure it's him at this stage. Mm -hmm. All I know is that La Ito was clearly at the scene because of the whole coughing. Then left. Then what what he witnessed and the conversation he had with uh, our professor here that we didn't get to hear potentially actually led to him committing suicide because of well what happened. He did Whether he was actually, mm -hmm. he didn't actually commit suicide. I'm, I'm not prepared to budge on that point. I, I, I am prepared to budge on that point. Like I am prepared to uh, completely believe that he did actually commit suicide because I believe under the circumstances he would have motive to actually do that himself as well. The fact that he might have been driven to it is another matter. Whether was actually behind the uh, killing of the wife is also another matter that I'm not fully settled on yet. I don't want to go poking my nose into that mess. That's because you've got no sense of adventure. <laughs> well, in any case, it doesn't look like we talk good about you today. Let's get back. Like, what I don't believe is that uh, the wife situation is a suicide. Because that was also brought up as a po like, possibility that oh. I don't believe. Oh, one of them's gotta be a murder, otherwise what are we even doing here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's gotten dark. Let's get back to the end. And then we did. After dinner, Mr. Yakimo gathers at an in-room to check the footage they shot today. That's when they hear a woman's voice from the other side of the door. Excuse me, Mr. Yakimo, you have a guest? Yes. Is it Dr. Doctor? Is it Director Ibushi? Doctor. Doctor Ibushi? Eh, yeah, couldn't be. Yakimo hesitates for a second. Before he can answer, the door opens and two men loudly stomp into the room. The cops. Yep. Jeez, that it's the cops! Hello, hello, pardon the intrusion. Excuse us! Hey, it's the cops. Our detective is from this afternoon. Right. I'm Assistant Inspector Misawa with the Shimano Professional Police Investigation Division. And I'm Takumi Keish Ino. Keish Ino? What, what does that mean? Keish Ino with the same division. I, that is a weird term. <laughs> After Misawa's introduction, the young detective smugly refers to himself as Keish Ino. What does that mean? <laughs> Keish Ino. Because, because I'm on the case. Get it? Uh, hope no. You get it? Do you get it? Hope. No. <laughs> uh, uh, sounds like you're quite important then. Wow. Well, so you're the one in charge of the case. We high up an assistant inspector. At such a young age too. You're a super elite. Wait, so the younger detectives in charge? Wait, 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 no, no, you've got it all wrong. The kid's last name is Keishino. It's just a pun on his name. He's just an ordinary officer. Now it makes more sense that we have the context for it. <laughs> See, I feel like I probably could have told you that. Uh, oh, oh, is is that it? <laughs> Stop pretending you're my superior. Oh, sorry, sir. 
Oh god, it's worse than I thought they do bits. Tonisawa smacks him. Keishin Keishino rubs his head and apologizes. Upon saying that, Yagimo sighs in exasperation. Um, can you take your comedy bit elsewhere? We're kind of busy here. It's not a comedy bit. We have business with you concerning the case of the Kudamocha residence. Business, huh? Well, you already did a police interview? Police interviews aren't a one-and-done deal. Besides, that's not what we're here for today. Now, I hand it over. Miso emotions with his open hand. Yakimo tilts his head in confusion. Um, hand what over? The tape. Hand it over. We were on camera all day for that location scouting thing, right? And you filmed your discovery of Mrs. Kuramoji's body, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> nah. Come on, you really think we... It's not just that tape. Hand it all over. Could be a clue. Don't take no for an answer. I'll confiscate all your equipment if you want to play it that way. Eh. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Oh. Tried so hard and got so far, but unable to defy me so much. Studio Yagimo surrenders all their tapes. Including what's in the van. Damn it! There is now a pile of everything they've taped since their arrival in Suano. <laughs> I say that's all of it. Fascism! This is fascism, I tell you! Shut up, I bet you can't even spell fascism. Uh, yeah, she probably can't. Well. I'll take your care of these tapes. You can have them back after the investigation. Keishino, take these away. Yes, sir! Misa commands Keishino as he calmly leaves the room. Keishino bows and chases after him, tapes in tow. Just, just... Two big armfuls of the thing raising up, blocking his eye line. Yep. As he walks over towards the stairs, you just hear the sound of <laughs> And then he creeps and everything falls down. <sighs> what an eccentric performance. They took away... ...my precious tapes. Hitaha quietly murmurs. Unable to hide the regret in her voice. Yagibo can only silently stare at the door the detectives left through. Chapter 3 They're very nice shoes. I like those shoes. Any day now, game, I'm... <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Look at the guy, Wow! Where's there some de de defective detectives? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. They really thought it was enough to confiscate all the tapes. I know, right? Do you realize how much data you can store on a tiny memory stick these days? Yeah. <laughs> 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 the next morning. Magari and Yagawa secretly check the film data in the van. Ah, uh, the cartoon villain laugh may be excessive, it is very therapeutic. 
Mm-hmm. Fact of the matter is that they had backed up all the film data onto a memory stick beforehand. Everyone should just laugh like a cartoon villain every now and then, just for catharsis. Okay, that's enough clowning around for now. What footage do we need? Uh, footage of Miss Kumaji's body. There might be a clue to tell us if it was murder or suicide. Uh, kinda tough to look at her like that again. Why are you fixated on this anyway? As I said before, we're just a film studio. I am getting a raid. I see that. Most. Hello, Miyakuri. Welcome aboard. Miyakurimo. You were playing just chatting. Welcome in. It's one of my favorite check games. Also, check out Mitsuda Manoi in the uh, stream title. We are currently playing through Root Film very early on. Yeah, so, um, second stream of it. Second stream, second case. Not the second time we've seen a CG of just the, our, our two protagonists looking at a laptop, though. I also need to apparently fix something because uh, I thought I deleted the uh, clip running from my shoutouts. Apparently I did not because it didn't run, but I still heard it. I need to look into that as well. Nothing is working nowadays on my streams, huh? Well, the technology. Uh, yeah, I, I am doing fine and the protagonist is not horrible this time. Uh, for the most part. He did film a corpse here, but like that's the worst he has done. Honestly, I'm kind of into it. I Yeah. It's not good in objective real world morality sense, yeah. but it's like light novel protagonist eccentricity interesting character yeah. note evil not you it's know. not like an actually just a horrible person to like ever even witness interacting with people kind of horrible the bit where he spontaneously burst into an evil laugh while while like insisting they filmed the, the <laughs> corpse that's good i like that that's interesting yeah. okay thank you for the follow arc and the yeah. yeah, so far, enjoying it, enjoying it. Uh, I, did I read this line from Magari already? I think uh, I'm gonna did. read it again. I'm gonna read it, right. read it again, just for good measure. Why are you so fixated on this case anyway? As I said before, we're just a film studio. Because... Shit, I hadn't thought that far ahead. You don't have to talk if you don't wanna. I trust you, director. Sorry, Magari. Magari will never know that it was because he actually didn't have anything to say. As soon as the 10 year old project restarts, an incident like this happens. Is it just a coincidence? Or an inevitability? Can't help but assume the latter. Which means that solving this case may help expose the truth of why the project was shelved 10 years ago. As Yagyama ponders to himself, Mayari expertly searches through the film on her laptop. Eventually, her hands stop, and the screen shows the site from the day before yesterday. Alright, okay, we have I... a chance to do real investigation at this point. I wanna start... That's her look, California. With... I'm gonna start with the uh, note. That's good for you. Uh, the suicide note, sure. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Yagima murmurs as he looks by the body's feet. I think Ivory has a good theory on the actual. Cause of death, it I... wasn't the uh, chlorine thing, gas explosion. Died of cringe, I mean, clearly. I mean, if she's involved in. Uh, she's involved in this stream, that would be a completely reasonable response. Nah, look at the two streamers here. What's wrong? Yeah. yeah it's hard okay, to say due to the desk's shadow, anything. but is there something on the ground still, like there? Wait, that's on the ground? I, I, for some reason, I didn't realize that's a cr that's ground. I somehow always thought that was like a table next to it, which, looking at it now, makes no sense. I don't know why I thought that. 
What I'm worried about is why they're saying it's in the desk's shadow when I don't believe there's a desk anywhere in this picture. That, that is also a good point. <laughs> I think this might be a fourth dimensional building. Mm -hmm. it looks like a scrap of paper. This thing magnified a bit. Enhance. Peter, enhance. Nagari zooms in on the scrap of paper. Enhance. Two or three zooms and several filters later, the text on the scrap of paper is legible and wearing a set of cat ears. Nice. When Hoshia is dedicated to Yasaka. Synesthesia activates. With wiggle wiggle. When Hoshia is dedicated to Yasaka. What does that mean? Well, we recognize the two proper nouns in that sentence, unless I'm drastically mm -hmm. misinterpreting something. Probably means when the Hoshii Festival procession arrives at Yasaka's What? The question is who wrote that and why it's on the ground. The handwriting looks strange. They even tell if it's a man or a woman. They wrote it left-handed so we couldn't read the, uh, the the handwriting analysis. Keep up, woman. Mm -hmm. uh, letters in a crude, childish handwriting. Perhaps to hide the identity of who wrote it. Okay. I'm starting to have suspicions. Uh, what should we look at next? Uh, we should probably look at the cause of death, the bottle of bleach at the tub of detergents. Yeah. I'm assuming that's bleach in detergent and not the other way around. The hard to say, we just know it's both of them apparently. This metal basin really bugs me. What about it? Yeah. Well, even if she was trying to commit suicide by mixing detergents, that's such a huge basin. Mm, that is a good point. There must be some sort of reason behind it. Hmm. Alright, the pendant mm. and the scar on her shoulder both jumped out at me yeah. pretty much as soon as we saw the body. Yep. Especially since she's basically like reaching for the pendant. Or do we want to start with the pendant? Let's start with the pendant. There are several long scars on her slightly exposed chest. That doesn't seem accurate to the picture, but alright. You scratch yourself in her final moments. Chlorine gas wrecks your respiratory system. Which means it's way too painful for an option. Painful of an option for a suicide. If it were me, I'd choose something that's painful. There are lots of easier ways to go, especially when it's on your own terms. I don't see you ever committing suicide, Director. Of course not. I plan on peacefully passing away at the tender age of a hundred. Specifically at that hundred. I Can't go over. Kind of want to see the pen again just to see if anyone. Game. Let's check, just in case. Huh? Magdi raises her voice when she magnifies the chest area of the cork. Huh? What's wrong? Hold on a sec. Magdi restlessly moves, restlessly moves the mouse to zoom in a bit further into the portion of the chest area. It has. Oh my god, she has a Makatama! Mm -hmm. Once the pattern on the kimono disappears, it becomes clear what unsettled Ma Magari, of course. Everyone knows that no Faye will ever be able to get away without being involved in a murder case. That's... It kinda blends into the pattern of her kimono, but it, it really like doesn't. Nickel... <laughs> what do you mean it blends? A necklace with a kimono? Is that normal? We didn't know that there was a necklace before we zoomed in. I'm not an expert in kimono etiquette, but I don't think it is. Besides, 
Magari spins the mouse cursor around the pen and attached to the end of the necklace. This doesn't look like a brand name item. It looks rude and kind of cheap. That's why she died of cringe. Oh. Seems out of place for the wife of a rich man to wear something so cheap. Magari, that necklace bothers me. You print that out for me. Roger! Alright, we got it eventually, chat. I kind of want to double check the first two as well, Might just as in well. case there is something new. I did let's... think we got surprisingly little out of the basin. Yeah, let's check the note first, because I'm already in the note. Alright. Assuming this is a letter from someone, who even writes letters in anyone, anymore? Look at email and tons of social media services. Imagine demanding somebody use Twitter in this day and age, though. Mm -hmm. Maybe she didn't want anyone else to find out. Like her husband, maybe? Yeah, my full assumption right now is that this is from Ito about when to meet, basically, for a romantic getaway or something. And the reason it's here is because the uh, husband found out. Seems plausible enough. There's tons of ways to hide that, like how that line work contact you have is actually just that girl you met at the bar, director. <laughs> Who told you that? You did, just now. now shut up and focus on the footage. <laughs> because, you just to because you just told me, fox boy. Uh. Alright, Bacon. It's rare to find metal basins like these in modern day households today. Guess it's not rare for an old family though. Now, it feels kinda odd to lug something like this all the way to your room just to commit suicide. Uh scar? Shoulder scar? Yep. There's a mark on her skin, like a bruise, from her nape of the neck to her shoulder. Is that a birthmark? Yeah. Or a bruise of some sort? blood, and it doesn't look like it. What's your fresh wound? Right. It means it probably isn't related to the case at hand. Mm hmm we didn't get to check the uh, thing on the left because we got everything we needed, huh? Yeah, it was just a chest of drawers, what's it gonna tell us? Yeah. After examining the film all the way through, Yagimo sighs and murmurs. There's <sighs> <sighs> a lot of details that day. Good thing we were able to find them all. Good thing we filmed it. Nice, Magali. No, it takes a lot of guts to look at this video. Yeah, big help. Well, I somehow managed to, buy, managed to buy lying to myself that it was staged, but it really was tough. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's enough footage investigation for now. Let's go meet up with the others and head out. Roger that! Mm, I won't. Uh, are we going somewhere to meet with people, or if, are we already heading out with everyone? If we're... I, I, I think... I, in my interpretation of how all this works, uh, two on a station would be the correct answer, regardless of which of those is true. True enough, let's go there. Boop, boop. Also, it's the one place we didn't, like, visit at all yesterday. Yeah, we haven't been there recently. It's, uh, for the sake of completion. The Tsuwano Station area is quite relaxed now. Perhaps because the Hoshii Festival is over. It's the same two people there again, in the background. Do you want to go poke them? Yeah, poke, let's poke them first. When Yako makes eye contact with the tourist, she takes out her phone and bows her head. Understanding the gesture, Yagimo takes her phone and takes a few pictures for her. Okay. Rad. Rad. 
Uh, left or right? Uh, right. Director, there's an accessory stall over there. Now you check it out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Girls really have an eye for that, huh? Sure, go ahead. Thanks. Kita Hut cheerfully nods and dashes off. The others follow leisurely behind. Oh my god, it's Jesus! Wow. Kita Jesus. When I catch up to her, Kita is already cheering and has several accessories in her hand. Did you make these yourself? Like totally, dude! Each one canned, made, and one of a kind! Which means we can trace like. them. Which means we can trace them to whoever, you know, own, bought, won at Timex. Yes. It's gonna be important, my like. Whatever works with you, dude! I don't recommend these! The mustached, long-haired hippie of a salesman shows off his wares. Yakima watches he to inspect each item. Magari tugs at his sleeve. Director, don't this match? Hmm? They match with Mrs. Kuramoch. What Mr. Mrs. Kuramoch was wearing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we are already getting the importance. <laughs> Gasp. Now that she mentions it. When finally clicks, Yagima hastily takes out the printed picture and shows it to the salesman. Sir, is this one of your wares? Hmm? Yeah, man, totally! This design was my, my thing like half a year ago, so it's gotta be from back then. Do you remember who bought it? Sorry to be a, be a bummer, dude, but like, half a year a long time ago. <laughs> Shoot him a photo of Mrs. Kuramochi and my jog his memory. But I can't just show him a picture of her body. So what do I do? What do you do, hot shot? What do you do? What do you wanna do? Do we do we try that again or check the one on the left? And I say we check the one of the dying again. Uh, criminal. Um. Well, is is you go try to find out what's up with that? I am going to say that I think the most correct option here would be to look the left just for completion's sake, and then maybe go back the mansion, the. Uh, the historical society or whatever it was, try to see if we can't find a photo of her when she wasn't dead. That feels like an adventure game puzzle. Yeah. Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this today? So, chat, how are you all doing today? Is life treating you alright? Y'all having a good time? You been sleeping enough lately? Remember to stay hydrated while we, uh, do these long and long dreams. Because water is a thing you need to avoid dying. And if you die, who's gonna have to clean up the mess? It's not all, it's not <sighs> you making any progress over there? Not much. Okay, cool. Good thing I can hear is that Switch is working just fine, but right now the uh, capture card uh, things on my PC are not even opening up, so that I could check whether it's actually actively capturing or not. And with how it went, it, I fear that there might be a case where I need to 
actually came and quit uh, because I might need to restart my Switch for this to even work. That's no fun for anybody. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I love when things work, you know. Wow, technology, am I right, folks? And just once again, just like everything else today and yesterday, there's nothing that looks to be wrong, or everything is connected properly, double checked and everything, and it's just not working. It's always the most fun to try to solve things when every step that you check is correct, and it just doesn't work. Offering an update. Is that why it crashed? Because it got an update. As sure. That sounds I'll... dumb enough that I'd believe it. I'll let it update and see if, see if that helps. Because it didn't have this when I booted it up earlier today, so this update came during the stream. It's really annoying if it froze and died because of it. Oh, job is fine. Oh, God. I wonder how many photos they will allow us to take of this tourist. At least... At least a hundred. Pretty sure. Lady, how much storage space do you got on your phone, Grimini? Honestly, if your phone can't even fit like a hundred photos, I would be disappointed in the camera. Or um, phone. I don't know how many photos my phone has at this point. My current situation is, please wait while the hit up witness the wizard installs, blah blah blah, status, nothing. Well, that is no fun for anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's actually asking for permission to start updating the status. I don't know why that took so long. So it wasn't doing anything because he didn't have permission for it, but only now it even asked for it. You see, children, uh, the moral of the story is, if you ask for permission, you might get it. Mm-hmm. The other moral is, please go to Shimane Prefecture, please, we need your tourism money. I'm just checking Discord servers while I wait, because there's not much I can do while I just wait for it to update. You know what I only just realized? What was that? My OBS died at, at some point as well without me noticing. Yeah. I did not close that. Oh, that's... That, that's no fun for anybody. So the, I have not even been streaming anymore. I only just noticed because I don't... I did not close it. I don't know when it closed. Alright, will I be able to break 100 pictures taken with this tourist before we are able to get Hope's stream back 
up proper mic. Let's see. It has right now updated. on your phones. My OBS is restarting. Hopefully, the capture card software is restarting. How much stuff is there that you want to take pictures of in the first place, honestly? At least one. That the stream is down. Keep on firing wildly into the ether. Guys, my OBS was still open while I started solving that because Ivory answered you. One moment, please. I'm at least gonna restart my stream so I can solve this. Oh! Make sure you already got your moment software. De de device is in use by other software. What mm. software? What software is my capture card in use for? Other than the capture card software. What do you mean? Uh, this is really frustrating. Let's try to restart it again. It claims. I'm starting to feel like it's not gonna work again. Because it's just not doing anything. I'm so sorry if the stream just dies here. But I'm at a loss on what to do. I'm a meat doctor, not a computer doctor. I'm afraid I can't help you, doctor. Um, what do you mean devices in use by other software? It just takes forever on please wait a moment. Is... And then it just clears devices in use by other software. I don't even have OBS open anymore. I closed that again as well. There's no, no other software that would be using it. Is, is something showing I'm checking task manager and there's absolutely nothing that it could be. There's no duplicates of that, there's no OBS, there's nothing. <sighs> like at this point I feel like it's going to re like require me to restart my PC, which takes like an hour. Just came from nowhere. Hockey and Rocky music playing in the background of all this is happening is very slowly driving me mad. Understandable. I don't know if it's good or bad that I don't hear it anymore. I mean, I could if I just take my switch out of there and put the sound show on. Then it's gonna be coming through my mic though. <sighs> I'm gonna try to open this up for a third time and if, if it doesn't work, I'm giving up. I really hope it does work though, at least to the point where it doesn't say software is in use by another or 
put devices in use by another software. Yes, if it's at least that it just doesn't show, then I can try to troubleshoot it. But if it still claims that it's in use by another de like software when I can't find anything that would be using it in Task Manager, I don't know. Is a lot of photographs. They're all of the train station too, good lord. Just imagine this old granny and her niece or granddaughter or whatever it is coming back home. Family asks, oh, what did you take any photos while you were on your vacation? And grandma replies, oh boy, did I? And shows just her entire memory card is filled to bursting with photographs of the train station. And then they have like a night of just uh, going through all of the photos and she tells a story about each of them, even though they're like all identical. <laughs> Device is in use by other software. Through me. I have no idea what the software is. I, I think I'm just giving up. I'm gonna look through Task Manager one by one, one more time. There's no way it's in use by V2 Studio. There's no way it's in use by uh, Task Manager itself. There's no way it's in use by... Things are also jumping around in my Task Manager right now and it's really annoying. What have I... Th what do I currently have this uh, sorted by? Okay. Now it should stay still. There's no way it's in use by Chatty, or Wikubot, or Discord, or Research manage, manage, Management, whatever. Remember to do your finger exercises, kids. You do not want to develop arthritis. Unless you do want to develop arthritis, in which case, what the hell is wrong with you? A sense of adventure. Yeah, I'm not finding anything in the task manager. Absolutely nothing. I I really think this is going to require me to actually like restart my PC to solve that and at that point it's just as well cancel the stream because it's gonna take way too long. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we got we, we got three hours out of it, that's Yeah, it's just a very awkward spot to end on. But then again, what wouldn't have been? Solving the case and ending there. I don't think we honestly would have had that much left. I think chapter 3 would have been followed by finale. We've gotten quite a bit of information and this is like the main final investigation from the field of it. So we could have very well done that, I believe. Uh, okay, so where do I get to save there? We can basically save on this very screen. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah, yeah. sure. I'm saving here and we'll have to continue from there next week. This sucks that it did this, but hey, it also killed my stream already, apparently, so... <sighs> yes, be oh, well. sure to, uh, watch the VOD over on my YouTube channel so you can get our extra special director's commentary of <laughs> me sitting here repeatedly mashing A on this one person to fill space yes. for like 10 minutes. I'm also gonna check and come onto your stream now for the raid uh, in the I... chat. I decided who we raided last time. Would you like to... Uh... Make any recommendations? Sure. Even though I can't rate myself. Uh, Alda Duck is playing 
Minecraft. Alta Duck is pretty cool. If you don't know, uh, mm. she has also been shouted out on my Discord in the suggestions. You can find her there. Be the la latest one. How the duck, right? I guess we'll go do that then. Um, for those of you listening to this section, thank you all for coming in. It was definitely one of the streams of all time. No one can deny uh... that. I'm sorry for all of the technical difficulties. It's, it's I'm suffering. Fine. It's fine. Fine. Uh, I don't who, have a stream ending bared. I'm sorry. Who, who needs one? Who needs one? Say good night, Hope. Good night. It do be 11 p.m. for me. It's only like or in my time zone, but I could stand to go get something to eat after this. Understandable. I don't recommend eating. It's it's very important. I'm going to go to the stream ending screen now. Yeah, you do that. You do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs>